Easter eggs. If there was one thing that brought us all together in the glory days of zombies, it was the Easter eggs. From hunting as a community to finding out tips to help everyone beat the hardest steps, I think the Easter eggs are the best part of a zombies map. So with that in mind, I set out on a journey. A journey that took almost a year to complete. A journey to complete every single Easter egg in COD Zombies history. And yes, I mean every Easter egg. We're not only counting the Treyarch Easter eggs, we're counting every Zombies game, and we're doing every main quest in every single map. Along the way, there will be a timer on the screen, so at the end of the video, we can see how long it took me to complete every Easter egg. For a couple of the Easter eggs, I was pausing the game pretty frequently for minutes on end, so those times were slightly inaccurate, but thankfully, on those maps, I had an in-game timer to go off of to show me the correct time. Hopefully I was able to correct all of the inaccurate times, but if I wasn't, I apologize. Before this video starts, I want to go over some rules that I set out for myself before I started this challenge. Number one, and this is the most important rule, no glitches. No out of the map glitches, no god mode glitches, no glitches of any kind. Please keep in mind that I will still be doing easter egg shortcuts. I believe there is a difference between the two. Number two, consumables are available for me to use. So that means I can use any gobble gum, any fate and fortune card, any consumable, any elixir. All that stuff is on the table for me to use. For a decent amount of the maps though, I did not use any paid consumables. I just used classics. Number three, no practice runs. Every completion that you will see in this video was my first time attempting the easter egg for this video. Unless, of course, I died in a previous run and had to redo the easter egg. I didn't do practice runs because I wanted the timer to be as accurate as possible in displaying how long every map takes to complete. You'll be able to tell because for Call of the Dead and Blood of the Dead, those two maps took me a lot longer than I would have liked them to. And finally, rule number four, I'm only doing the easter eggs that you can complete on solo. So that means no Ascension, no Shangri-La, no Die Rise, and no Barry. So with the rules out of the way, I'm pretty much done here in the intro. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and drop a like and subscribe if you are new. Share this video with your friends, your family, anyone who plays COD Zombies. And also, get your popcorn, get your drinks, get your snacks, whatever you like to eat during YouTube videos. You'll need it for this one, trust me. Sit down, put your feet up, relax. And with that being said, I will catch you all on Call of the Dead. Let's go. There we go, start the fucking timer, here we go. So, I'm not gonna be doing this as fast as I possibly can. Some things I'll be doing the more optimal versions of. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't like doing games and stuff as fast as I possibly can. Cause it's not fun for me. So my whole point was, if there's a special way to do something really fast, unless it's gonna save me from like losing my fucking mind, then I'm not gonna do it that way most likely. Unless I just completely forget to do it the normal way. Fog rolling in, he just said fog rolling in. All right, so we're on the last step, and what I have to do is I have to get the VR-11, the Wonder Weapon, that sucks ass. I need it for this step of the Easter egg. That's why I fucking hate early Easter eggs, because they all either require you to get a weapon from the mystery box, and there's no way to build it, or they require four players. Both versions suck dick, though. I mean, sure. Actually, wait, can I even get the VR-11 if I have the ray gun? I don't think I can, so I can't keep the ray gun. No! Come on! I like the Galil. I like the VR-11 even more, though. Oh! Hold on. Ooh, a fire sale. Oh, yes, please. Oh, okay. I I don't know how I'm alive. No ammo. Oh my gosh, dude. Are you kidding me? Can I just get the VR-11 so I can stop playing this shit? Unfucking necessary Alright, there we go. Oh, there's another crawler? Oh, I love you. You know, I hate you because you made me waste 16 rounds trying to get to VR-11. One BS down later. Gamer picture unlocked. Okay, there's the time. I've completed this before. Alright, well, there we go. 58 minutes and 48 seconds. The next map we have to do 
is Moon. And we are not doing that on BO1 because, number one, it's impossible to do solo. And like I said, I don't have any friends. I'm still debating on whether or not I want to use Gobble Gums. I might say yes, just because I don't want to have to sit there and keep hitting the box for 50,000 rounds. And there we go. He's dead. Okay, so with that being said, we are going to switch over to the next map, which is Moon. Switching right now. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I almost died right there on round two. Are you serious? Yeah, what am I gonna do with this? I'm not ready for it yet. So this is the type of game of moon we're gonna have. Okay, now let me just prepare myself now. If this is how it's gonna go, we're gonna be here for a hot minute. Okay, there we go. One out of four complete. I right, come on fire sale, don't let me down. Are you kidding me? Thank you. Finally. After like 50 box hits, I finally got one out of the four things I need. Oh god, how am I gonna do this? This is so fucking annoying, let me tell you. Alright, where was the last one? Oh. <laughs> Here's a tip for everyone. Never do this step after you blow out the windows. There we go. Okay, that step's done. I am the victim. Are you serious? Well, on round 13, we have no tunnel six. We have no QEDs. We have no wave gun. We already got QEDs, but we need Gurst devices first. So I had to trade out to QEDs for the Gurst devices. And now I need the QEDs back, and then I have to get the Gurst devices back. I really love Moon, but the box RNG on the Easter egg, oh, it's so annoying. Like if the box RNG wasn't complete dog shit like it is on this map, then this map would most likely be in my top five. Honestly, I fucking love this map. At least on BO3 Moon. BO1 Moon sucks. Fight me. I don't know how much of this y'all be seeing, but just know this is hell. This is what hell is like. Oh my God. Okay, you know what? I gotta go full fucking sweat mode. It took 90,000 years. As you guys can see, it took us 58 minutes to complete Call of the Dead. We're at two hours and 36 minutes right now. I finally completed the moon Easter egg. The amount of bad RNG I had, just getting the Gersh devices and then the QEDs again, and then the Gersh devices again, it was ridiculous. I spent at least 50,000 points just trying to get to QEDs. And then like another 20 grand on top of trying to get the Gersh devices back. Let me not die. Hold on. I'll throw this. Where am I? Um. Oh, tunnel 11. Um. Yeah, I'll stay out here. I was gonna go to the earth, but. Oh. Okay. Well, that works. Now we can watch this. Thank you, Power Vacuum. For being an absolute godsend right now. There is it, Rockets. I don't even care. If I fail right now, I am not doing this Easter egg again right now. I do not care. Like, you guys do not understand how bad my luck was trying to get this. Okay, then. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but here we go. Let me get the timer ready. As soon as we get the big explosion. Okay, so I made an oopsie. I accidentally ended the recording and messed up the timer, but it was two hours and 37 minutes is what I got for the time. Way too long for this Easter egg. This Easter egg should not take that long, especially if you get everything first box hit. This Easter egg takes like 15 minutes to do. Like, it's crazy. But with that being said, Moon is completed. Is there a mushroom cloud? Wait, is that actually it? Look, there's Nuketown right over there. And with that being said, let's jump straight over to the next map, which is Transit. Here we go. What is the point? Okay. Obscure all navigation. Lay on. Oh my god. 
If I die right here, I'm gonna be so fucking mad. I've been playing this garbage for like an hour. This whole thing has just been me running through the fog trying to see where the fuck I'm supposed to be going. That just sucked the fucking life out of me. Oh, I still have all my perks? What? Why well, do I have all my perks still? Must be a perma perk or something. Who the fuck knows? And who the fuck cares? I'll tell you who cares. Not me. Okay, well that's the end of the fucking transit. Fuck this map. I quit. Next map, Mob of the Dead. We're counting that. I don't care. How do I fucking stop this timer? Stop. Split. Split. Okay. Well, I tried. I'm not attempting it again. This map is fucking horrible. I do not like this map. I'm not doing it again. I don't care. How bad you want me to try it? I am not doing it again. You guys can either go off of my time, which was almost an hour, because it was like 2.37 for Moon. Or you guys can just go off the speedrun time, which is like a half hour. Anyways, I've played this map way more than I ever desire to, so I'm hopping over to Mob of the Dead. Fuck Transit. Fuck you if you worked on Transit. And just fuck everything, I guess. I don't know. Go to Mob of the Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did he just say, if you try and fuck me, I'll fuck you back? <laughs> what? Okay. I'm not risking it. That's all I'm doing for now. How am I going to do the birdie? Oh, I'm not doing uh, buried. So, what I decided is, I'm just going to do every Easter egg that I can do solo. Which I technically count Mob of the Dead, because you can do every single step up until the boss fight. Six. Right? Yes, okay. Next one. Is it up here? I thought it was back there. Oh wait, it's this way. I'm a dumbass. That's right. So, whenever we get the... Did Samantha's laugh? That's how we know we're done. The last one's up here? Yep. And there we go. Wait, shit. Split. Okay. So that was like an hour. Oh, less than an hour. Sweet. Okay. So there's Mob of the Dead done. Let me see if I can get a sniper rifle real quick. There we go. Don't waste my time with fucking sniper rifle. What do you mean don't waste your time? We're done. That startled me. I'm not even going to lie. I didn't think I was looking in the right place. To everyone watching this video right now, I just want to let you guys know just so I can document the timeline of events and the process of me making this video, I have not recorded a single part of this video since almost, I think, five months to the day. Yeah, okay, so I just checked. It was June 15th of 2021 that I did the Mob of the Dead Easter egg. I have not worked on this at all since then. Currently, it is November 15th of 2021. So that means that these four Easter eggs right here, Call of the Dead, Moon, Transit, and Mob of the Dead, those videos and those clips are from almost half a year ago. I'm going to try and get this finished by the end of 2021, and we'll see how it goes. But I just want to say that the reason that I decided to continue this video, because somebody left a comment on my video, told me to do every single Easter egg from Black Ops 1 to Black Ops 4. I will put a picture of that comment on screen right now. Shout out to you for telling me to do this. So thanks to you, I am restarting this series, and I will continue this until we finish. Which, funnily enough, I will say one more thing before I cut to the end of the Origins Easter egg. Whenever I started... Outbreak Part 1 was the most recent Easter egg. Now the most recent Easter egg is Forsaken. There have been three Easter eggs added to COD Zombies since the last time that I recorded any section of this video. So now that I got that out of the way, let's continue on with the rest of this video, shall we? Oh, I actually got it first try. Oh, thank God. Okay, hopefully I can actually pull it off first try too now. Oh, no, I missed it. Fuck! Okay, there we go. Done. Another double points? Give me a max ammo. At least, please don't be this foot. Don't. Don't. Oh! That's painful. If I get one more double point. Alright. I could have gotten that in one zombie blood, but I messed up. We're gonna return on Gen 6. Then we're gonna get our Iron Fists. 
and then we will finish the Easter egg. There it is, okay. All right, so we're on the final step right now. We got all four staffs in place. Got our Iron Fist or Thunder Fist or whatever fist is the upgraded fist. And now we got to get 100 kills. So at 763 kills, we will have completed this Easter egg. But we're going to do the Freedom Step as well. Technically, the Easter egg ends after you get the white flash on your screen. But most people say, including, hold on, including speed runs. They say that you should stop the timer whenever you get to... Sorry, I'm having a hard time thinking and concentrating right now. Whenever you get the cutscene. That was a jump scare. I don't have the best guns to be down here, but... Oh, yeah. Okay, that's clutch. That is very clutch. Alright. Man, this insta-kill is helping out so much. Oh, thank God for this insta-kill. I still would be able to complete it, but this makes it a walk in the park. Look, I'm insta-killing everything. I've gotten like 50 kills with this insta-kill. Now I just throw this down and get my final five kills or however many I need. There it is. I had Claymore's 2 I just bought. I forgot about that. Alright. Let me use these Claymore's just because I never do, like ever. Oh, perfect. What a way to send us off this game. Perfect. Okay, let's access the teleporter. And boom. Wait, no. Stop. Okay. <laughs> okay. 6, 13, 12. I got to remember that because I don't know how to work lives because I'm an idiot. But regardless, there we go. Origins Easter egg complete. Now, let's move on to ExoZombies. Exo zombies, here we go. Now I'm not gonna lie whenever I say that Outbreak for Exo zombies is not going to take me long at all. Pre-order Call of Duty World War II and get beta access. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the heads up, Sledgehammer Games dev team. No, but what I was saying is I used to speed run Outbreak, so I'm not expecting this to take long at all. I never got the solo world record. I came very close, like within five or seven seconds or something, I wanna say. And I've held the two-player, three-player, and four-player world record for this map. So if I can get to EM1 early, this should only take 15 to 20 minutes. I have not done this Easter egg in well over a year, but nonetheless, here we go with Exo Zombies. I didn't get Oz right here, so I will restart until I get Oz on Burger Town. I'm just going to say that right now. I will never not play Exo Zombies and not have the chance to play with the GOAT himself, Oz. I will say, playing on these older CODs has really made me realize how bad... We need FOV slider in every single game. I'm not a fan of Cold War or Vanguard, but one thing that they did perfectly was add the FOV slider to console. Another thing I've realized after playing all of these games is that we desperately need the old point system back. Like I knew we needed it back, but I never realized how bad we need it back. Like it makes the early game setup so much more fun whenever you can use different weapons to get in different parts of the game at different times that wasn't english but hopefully you guys understood what i meant oh no come on of course i get a double points right now of course i do uh i'm not gonna take it oh uh, they keep giving me all these good weapons but i i don't want any of them there we go the overliable trick worked after all. No! Oh my gosh, come on. Alright, I'm doing this tomorrow. Alright. There we go. Perfect timing. Dude, why can't I find this fucking thing? There we go. Okay. I couldn't find that thing for a long time. It took me like four attempts to finally find it. Alright, we need ten more. Which I will get this round. Eight. Seven. Are you serious? Or at least they still drop key cards. But are there enough? 
One more. There it is. Alright. We got 49. Now we gotta go back here and interact with this computer again. Correct. It's been a while since I've done this Easter egg. So I forget exactly how it works. Now I get the 50th key card. Over here. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Here we go. Spam on the exosuit. There we go. Now let's get back to spawn and we are done with the Outbreak Easter Egg. The good Outbreak Easter Egg, not the Cold War Outbreak Easter Egg. And we're playing copyrighted music. Hold on. And, oh well, just just keep it going. Keep it going. Just mute the audio. There's the Warbird. And time. 631.58. Okay. So there we go. Outbreak's Easter Egg is completed. With that being said, let's jump straight on to the next map. Which is one of the most hated maps in Zombies history. Burger Town, aka Infection. Alright, we're at the end of the Easter Egg. This took about... What was it? 638 for Outbreak? This took almost an hour. Like 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Wait, what? Oh, shoot. I forgot to do that. Whoops. Hold on. We'll come right back in a second. Hold on. There we go. I forgot about that step. If I'm being honest, I forgot about most of the steps. Like, I know what steps. Oh, the round ended. We got to hurry up. I know all of the steps. I just keep forgetting what order they occur in. Like, yeah, some of them make sense. Like, do the burger and then get the bond and disinfect it. But, like, the key card and stuff, I was a little lost for that step. But regardless, there it is. Outbreak, or Outbreak. Infection, Burger Town. That's this map. Easter egg completed. Ooh, an insta-kill too? Thank you. You know what? Let's grab one of these bombs. I'm not grabbing that one because that one's been on the ground for a while. Cover me. Reloading. Training <laughs> this is such a cool thing. And... Let's activate the timer. 7, 14, 53. So yeah, like I said, that took about 45 minutes, I want to say. What is this trap? An orbital strike? I don't know. Ow. Am I dead? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I've been playing this map for like seven years, and I just found out today that there's an orbital strike trap on this map. Yeah, I'm not helping you. There's the Easter egg completed. This fucking step is one of the worst ever. This step is one of the worst steps ever made. If you don't think so, you're wrong. Simple as that. Going 15 rounds for one step to get 20 teleporter zombie kills and put the things in the teleporter. Just to go there and try and randomly dig up a iPad. Which don't even get me started on the RNG of actually trying to dig up the... Or Fish up the shovel. Oh my gosh, dude. This step sucks. Thank you. Give me it. Give me it. Give me it. Oh my gosh. No. You're kidding, right? I better not have to dig it up again. Oh no, dude. Oh my gosh. This step is horrible. Alright, please don't make me have to dig it up again. Okay, thank you. Oh, Alright. Thank God. Screw that step, dude. That step is absolutely horrible. Captain DJ to the rescue. Hey, DJ Oz. There he is. Come on, give me a fish. Give me a fish. Come on. Don't make me mess around. Oh, zombie leg. I'll need that in about 10 hours time whenever I do the attack. The radioactive thing, Easter egg. Okay. <laughs> I almost died right there. The one zombie. That would have been humiliating. 50 credits on round 27 when I have 26,000 already. Thank you. You really know what I want, game. Oh, guess what? There's a bomb active. Because of course there is. Oh, no. Shit. 
That scared us. That zombie scared the living shit out of me. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Alright, did I get the eye? I got the eye. Okay, that step was really fucking fast. I remember that step taking a, a fuck ton of zombies to complete. But apparently you only need a couple. Oh, okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Alright. Let's get this Easter egg over with, shall we? Shut up, Oz. There we go. Pause. Alright. Ah, oh, screw that easter egg, dude. That is one of my least favorite easter eggs in Zombies history. Without a doubt. Pretty cool outro cutscene, though, but regardless. Like, the RNG of having to fish up a fish, fish up a shovel, the RNG of getting all of the, um, the teleporter pieces that the teleporter zombies drop. This is just one RNG mess. Like, this is one of the worst easter eggs ever made. I don't think anybody... Would debate me on that would fight me on that i don't think anyone is that crazy to actually like this easter egg but if you are i don't understand why i downed three times in that game i hate that game but let's take two minutes 46 seconds anyways let's move on to the fourth and final easter egg in exo zombies so we can finally move on to the goat bo3 you gonna fucking jump going through all of these easter eggs have made me realize just how bad some of the steps are in this game. Gotta love the old point system. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't buy... Shit. There we go. Alright. Can't go up there. That's a death wish, because I don't have enough points to teleport. Alright. Now we have an actual fun step on this Easter egg to do next. And then it's the final step of this horrible... Horrible zombies experience. I used to be a defender of exo zombies, but over the past couple days, me doing these Easter eggs, I'm just now realizing how bad these steps are. Like some of them are fun, like the uh, collecting the 50 key cards or the shark step on carrier. And it's a dog round. Oh my gosh, they made this free. They made this so free. Wait a second, my arrow assault drone still killing things. Okay, cool. So this game isn't coded properly but there are some horrible steps in this game like the all right there we go all right i really didn't want to die right there this part's pretty free i don't imagine me dying unless i teleport off the map like a complete moron which i don't even know if you could do but regardless the teleporter step on carrier and the rng of fishing up everything the rng of digging up the correct spot once you actually get the teleporter to work the meat step on burger town infection that step's horrible that's like the rock step from Grod Krovey, but a lot worse. If you've never played it, that's the best way I can describe it. Like, there's a couple of good steps in this game, but most of them are just complete ass. There's phase one done. Shut up, Oz. <laughs> Shut up, Oz. Fuck you. Wow, tell him how you really feel, Decker. You never made the regular army because you couldn't pass a fucking drug test. <laughs> See, this is why... When people say I say Oz the goat, they think I'm joking. No, I'm serious. Is that the map? I think that's the map. That is 1000% the map over there. Stuff like that is hilarious, by the way. Whenever you see things like that, like uh, in the Mephistopheles boss fight, you can see the life of the mystery box. And like, if it's something like Karad Kirby's boss fight arena where they they want you to know where it is, that's one thing. But when it's something like that, or the Revelations boss fight being directly under Kino, that, I find stuff like that to be extremely fascinating. Maybe that's just me, but... Watch out, Oz. You, you about to fall off the map, bro. Watch out. Wait, how does he have the Ohm? The Ohm's not on Outbreak. And there we go. Double feature? No thank you. An hour and 16 minutes. I went down one time in that Easter egg. I forget how I went down. But just know that it was most likely BS. I didn't go down on the EMZ stat though, which is really impressive. So with that being said, get me off this freaking game. I've had enough of ExoZombie for the rest of 2021, maybe even further past than that. And with that being said, let's come straight on to the GOAT of COD Zombies, which is Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 Zombies.
I love this game so much, dude. Most people in this community love this game. You have a few whack jobs who say that this game is the worst zombies game ever made, which they're lying to themselves. They just want to believe that for whatever reason, but this game did wonders for Call of Duty, Call of Duty Zombies, and the zombies community. This game had nothing but bangers. The guns in this game were a lot of fun. The gobble gums were a lot of fun. I really wish they would bring back gobble gums. You can make them free. You don't have to pay for them or whatever. I'm fine with them being free. Just bring back gobble gums, please. We got Primus's journey on this game. Like, I just cannot say enough good things about BO3 Zombies. I just can't say enough good things about this game. I can't. You know what? As a matter of fact, let's let's open a 3 vat. Why not? What are we gonna get? Come on. Perkaholic? A near-death experience. Okay. That's actually kind of good. Let's open one more. Screw it. Why not? Give me a Perkaholic. I want to see a Perkaholic. Two fatal contraptions. <laughs> Damn it. All right, we're going to come back to this later on after every map. We're going to see if I get anything good out of the Liquid Divinium. But for now, let's go in to the best Zombies map ever made, which is, of course, Shadows of Evil. This map is so beautiful, dude. I love this map so much. Like, I miss this level of quality maps in Zombies. We haven't had this quality map since BO4. Which, love or hate it, you can't deny that they put a lot of time and effort into those maps. The past two games weren't their fault. It was more of Activision's fault than it was Treyarch's. But I just miss whenever Zombies was like, beginning of November, holy shit, we're getting a new Zombies map. Playing it for the first time. This is beautiful. This is why I love COD Zombies, you know? Like, I miss those feelings in Zombies. Those feelings we do not get anymore. At least I don't. Buy the CUDA. Or let's not. Okay. Now let's buy the CUDA. There we go. Like, even the guns in this game were next level. Uh-huh. There's an invisible Margwa. Okay. That's cool. Oh no, ha 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 ha, nope, not doing it. They almost got me right there. I do this every single game, so I might as well do it now. Here we go, floating brick. Great. There it is, the goat fireworks. Why have they never brought back fireworks? Why do they hate that alternate ammo type? Oh my god, oh my god. Holy shit, hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. I did not realize he was right there. Whew. Why? I thought he was inside the burlesque or something, not <laughs> right behind me. I turn around and I instantly get ground pounded red screened. Oh my god. <laughs> dude. This is another thing that I miss about zombies. The infinite G sliding. Why have they never brought this back? Like it's so helpful for getting around the map. I don't care what anybody says. This is an incredibly difficult Easter egg step when you're not using fear and headlights. Like that is so hard, especially on like waterfront or footlight, at least on solo. Co-op, it's a little easier. Ah, there it is. I love this gun so much. Best wonder weapon ever. Let me add an asterisk to what I was just saying about this being hard without fear and headlights. It's hard without fear and headlights or the Apoth Conservant. I love this Wonder Weapon so much, dude. I love this map so much. I love this game so much. I love everything about this era of COD so much. You know what? Let's go Noir mode. Because why not? Never mind, let's not because I don't remember how to do it. Stop giving me death machines. You almost killed me. All right, there's all four done. Now, when we get death machines, we're going into the boss fight. But first, I'm going to try one more time to go activate Noir mode. Oh, there it is. I guess it was just glitched or something. I don't know. It's kind of weird. All right, here we go. There's all four done. Let's start this boss fight. Boss fight in... Quotation marks. Watch me fail it. There it 
There it is. <laughs> That's so stupid, dude. Oh my gosh. Pick up the summoning key now. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about that glitch. Yeah, well, there we go. I forgot to pause the timer. A couple seconds behind, but it doesn't matter. I forget what we started this map at, but we ended at 1052. You know what? Just for shits and giggles. Oh, wait, what? Oh my god. <laughs> there, okay, I was gonna say, did they patch it? There it is. Alright, so with that being said, let's move on to the next map, which is not the Rise of Drac, it is the Giant. Yes, I'm actually counting that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Perkaholic, 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 Perkaholic. Damn it. There's one. There's two. And there is three. Let's go grab the Annihilator and stop the timer. This took way longer than I was expecting it to. But there it is. Just like that. What was that, three minutes? Not the worst, I guess. I was hoping to get it in like 90 seconds or less. But I guess since I have attachments on my MR6, I wasn't able to pop it with the RK5. Pop Ephemeral, that is. Gotta do the best Easter egg in the game real quick. Disco Easter Egg! Look at it. Look at it in all of its beauty. This has got to be like one of the most underrated Easter Eggs ever. Got this funky ass music. It yeah, was that enough? Please be enough, please be enough, please be enough, please be enough. Let's go! Okay. What bow should I get? Uh, I'm right here. I might as well just grab the lightning bow. First hit of the game, got trip mines. A good start. Second hit of the game, got the Pharaoh. This is a great start. Ready for this? Super clutch moves. Ready, ready, ready? Oh, come on. Just let me out, please. Oh my gosh, dude, they're not gonna let me out, are they? Dude, come on. I'm not letting this go. Fuck. You know what, maybe I shouldn't let it go. <laughs> they didn't expect me to come this way. Dumbasses. I overshot it. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. It backfired on me. So if you don't know, there is a glitch on this map to spawn infinite zombies. And ever since I learned about it like two years ago or something like that, I've done it almost every time since. And this is probably a really bad idea showing you how to do it right now, but screw it. You know what? What's the worst that's gonna happen? So this trap right here, the gate trap, spawns infinite zombies. And how it works is you get a horde of zombies. You can do this on any round, by the way. You get a horde of zombies, and once you get enough, you run through the trap and you turn it on. And for every kill that the trap gets, it'll respawn like five zombies. See, they're dying right now. And they will start respawning. No, no. I know better, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's how you do it. <laughs> Just make sure you don't die like I did. Look at that RNG. Now, what if it's up here? And I get it straight away. Oh my gosh. If it's globe, then I forgive you for everything you did to me in the past five minutes. Oh my god. Look at that. Fuck! Alright, so here we are. We're going into the Dorazin Jack boss fight in a minute. Um, funny thing about this, I went down three times this game. But that's fine, because we got the Lightning Bow, we got the MR6, we got Monkey Bombs, and we got the Haymaker. So we'll be fine. I highly doubt I'm gonna die. It'd be funny if I did, but I doubt I will. Now I just gotta survive for like a minute, then we will complete the boss fight. Okay, there we go. There we go. Drives and Drac boss fight completed. Now let's go place the summoning key and the Samantha says box thingy. And then that's the Easter egg. And there we go. 
Dryzendrak Easter egg completed as soon as the moon blows up. And that is the boss fight. Er, not boss fight. That is the Easter egg. And there we go. 12, 12, 43. So that was what? Like an hour and 20 minutes? Not bad. Considering the fact I had three downs. And so I had to keep buying meal kick and trying to rotate gobble gums over and over again. That's not a bad time. All right, come on. What are we getting? What are we getting? Head drama. Okay, that's good. I'll take that. That's so much fun to do. You know, I haven't checked my trials yet. Please don't be bad. Please, no fruit. Do five spores. Okay. Go 10 spore infected zombies with headshots. Okay. And kill three zombies as they are mutated. Okay, that's not too bad. To be honest, I'm just happy I didn't get the fucking fruit plant one. That one normally is just an instant restart in my book. It's so bad. Like, but that's what they mean by that, right? Did I miss? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. Okay. Why are you here? I have no clue how I made it out of that alive. What? Okay. Oh, wait, you know what? Boom. There's one challenge. Are you fucking serious? What the fuck just happened? It is only fitting that you spend your final moments on the ground. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, just waste three minutes of my fucking time. Okay. Oh, I forgot that quote existed. That's fucking hilarious. Fun fact about that. I have never missed that ever. People always say, especially whenever this Easter egg first came out, how difficult this step is. And I've never missed that. Never. All right, let's wait for the round to flip just in case it glitches out somehow. Because you never know with this game. One problem with it is if you start cutscenes or... Easter egg boss fights during a special round. You're screwed. There's a good chance that something will glitch out and you will die. All right, here we go. Boss fight. Hardest boss fight in zombies history. Let's start it. Like I actually, like, I know I said hardest boss fight ever. And obviously that's a joke. But I find it funny how I have more problems with this boss fight than I do Garrods or Drizendrax or Voyage of Despairs, like, this boss fight's insanely easy, yet I somehow have trouble with it sometimes. Alright, well, we beat the boss fight, basically. Let me just pop my other eyes and discuss something real quick. Zetsubo was pretty fast. I think 45 minutes? Actually, no, it was close to an hour, actually. But regardless, I had one down at the beginning of the game. I went down because I went to go mesmerize the elevator first instead of the picture in the purple water room. So I went down to the purple water room and then made my way back up to the elevator and I got trapped in the purple water room by zombies. And even though I was trying to vaporize them, I was still getting hit from behind with my shield and I went down. But we had one down. Other than that, pretty smooth game of Zetsubo. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Perkaholic, Perkaholic, Perkaholic. Damn it. One of these times, we're gonna get Perkaholic. This is still one of the coolest things we've ever seen in zombies. You know, it's been, what, five years now since GKs came out? And this is still one of the coolest things ever. So, like, I forget how good this thing is on low rounds. Just because it's, like, pretty cheeks on high rounds. But this thing is a fucking beast on low rounds. Dare I say it's the best ray gun until, like, round 40. You know, this is actually a pretty hot take. But I prefer the Garod Mangler to the Firebase Z Mangler. And I don't think that's nostalgia speaking. I've just had some really bad memories on Firebase E and Outbreak with the uh, Mangler. Does anyone else do this? I do this every game of Garod. Wait, hold on. I also do this every game of Garod. Come here, Valkyrie. I gotta look up GarodCrovy.com. Wow. Okay. So, wait, hold on. Is that the only one I had to turn? That was the only one I had to turn was the one in the armory. Holy shit. I've never had that go that smoothly before. Ever. Boom! This is already shaping out to be the smoothest game of GK I've ever played. Is 
What? All right, there we go. Easter egg is pretty much completed. There's like a 0% chance I die in this boss fight, so. Of course, you gotta add like another 10 minutes worth of cutscenes and all that jazz, but this boss fight is insanely easy. If you guys are having trouble with this, just watch this. And here we go, boss fight time. All right, here we go. As soon as you spawn in, you wanna pop this very OP gobble gum called Idolize. You guys know about it. Pop it, he stands there like an idiot. And then you just take out all of his cores. Maybe. There we go. Take out that core. Take out that core. If you're fast enough, you can just go for the bottom one. But I wasn't. You have to go for the top two. And then the middle. And there you go. 15 second boss fight. Just like that. We pause the timer. Shoot. Shoot. Okay. That was like 15 or 13, 58, 35 or something like that. Final three vat for this video. Am I getting a perkaholic? Let's see. Come on. Fuck. Um, something weird just happened. I wasn't recording, but I teleported from Varuk to Mob to do this keeper step, and he teleported out of bounds, and the zombies are just standing still. This has never happened to me, and I've done this Easter egg probably around 100 times. Oh, whatever. Okay. Oh, that's me get stuff done for two minutes. Thanks, game. So, we're going into the boss fight right now. Man, was this a horrible experience. Like, this was one of the worst games of Revelations I've ever played. The little Arnie step glitched out. The Keeper step glitched out, and even the uh, summoning key glitched out, and I had to take it down. That's the only reason I went down. I was going to run Killing Time, just for the memes, but I had to trade it out for another Perkaholic. Because I had to go down, because the summoning key was just nowhere to be found. <sighs> okay, hold on. Just activate this. Do that. Stop fucking shock charging me. Oh my goodness, do I hate the BO3 Panzer, dude. It's so, he's so annoying. He is so freaking annoying. What is this? All oh, the walls, great. Great, here's a down. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna wait for this effect to wear off and then I will Arnie and, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, okay, all right, all right. There's no bosses up here, we're fine. Fuck you. Oh my god. <laughs> Why was that so difficult? Oh my god. I was red screen from the Margwa. Uh, he ground pounded me like right there. And so I threw an Arnie and came over here. And then a Panzer shock charge like right in front of me. And I would have taken it down from it. That's why I kept backing up and kept readjusting my line of sight. Oh, that was horrible. Okay. I had fun doing the BO3 Easter eggs. Definitely more than Exo Zombies and BO2 so far. But. Revelations, that game was miserable, dude. That game was just absolute hell. All right, so we're now here on Infinite Warfare Zombies. We finished BO3, we already finished Exo Zombies and BO2 and BO1. So now we're around, I'd say, the halfway point in terms of the games. In terms of how many Easter eggs I have left, there's still a long way to go, but this is around the halfway point for the games. So with that being said, I figured we'd take a look at our times for every Easter egg so far. The so Call of the Dead took me around an hour. Moon took me an hour and a half because, you know, Easter eggs with box RNG are the worst types of Easter eggs. Like, don't even get me started on that. Transit took an hour, even though I failed it. I know, I failed Transit, but I'm not playing that map again just to complete it. I was on the last step. I'm not doing the whole thing of running in the fog for an hour again whenever I was already on the last step. So we're counting that, screw it. Mob took me around an hour. Origins actually took me a long time. I thought I would have got it done in around the same time it took me to do Mob, but no. It took me around two hours to complete Origins. 20 minutes for Outbreak. The good outbreak from Exozombies, not Cold War's outbreak. Around 45 minutes for Burger Town. An hour and a half for Carrier. This Easter egg is the worst Easter egg ever made. Besides maybe Darkest Shore, which trust me, 
You guys will see me rage on that one. Descent took me an hour and 15 minutes. Shadows took basically 50 minutes. The Giant took me three minutes. The Horizon Jack took me an hour and 15 minutes. Zetsubo took me 45 minutes, or actually, no, 55 minutes, sorry. Gerard Crover took me around the same amount of time, 52 minutes, is my math right? And finally, our last time, Revelations took me roughly an hour and 20 minutes. That's because I had the summoning key step glitch out, I had the keeper step glitch out, I had the low army step glitch out, like everything kept glitching out. Otherwise, I would have had maybe like a 45 minute time or something like that. But regardless, that's where we are right now. We have four games left. We have Infinite Warfare, World War II, BO4, and Black Ops Cold War. If they release the Duran Fong Easter Egg before I complete this video, then I will include that as well. But as of now, the last and final Easter Egg that we will be doing in this video is, of course... That's not right. <laughs> Hold on, give me one second. Alright, now we're good. The final Easter Egg is Forsaken. It's not Outbreak. <laughs> It's forsaken. Like I said, I started this video in June of 2021 and I took like a six month break. That's why it was only up to Outbreak Part 1. But regardless, let's jump straight into Infinite Warfare's Easter Eggs. I will be using Director's Cut to get these done as fast as possible. So let's jump straight into Spaceland. Oh my god, I'm having so much fun right now. This is top tier game. This is must watch content. Here we are, going into the boss fight. Wait, there we go, okay. Uh, red, yellow, blue. Okay. That stuff, I don't know if they ever patched it to where you have more time, but at launch for Infinite Warfare, you had like three seconds. Like, they didn't differentiate the time between how many players are in the game. You know how, like, for the bomb step on Grot Kruby, for example, you have, like, a minute on four player, a minute 30, three player, two minutes, two player, three minutes solo, something like that. Well, they didn't do that for this step at the beginning of the game. Let's go another circle. All right. There's two done, we need one more. I had a very difficult time doing this Easter egg. Oh, I just remembered I didn't. My bad. That was probably really annoying some of you people. And I don't blame you. Sprint, Willard. Okay, there we go. Now, for the 15th millionth time, maybe I'll actually be able to say it. I did not have a fun time doing this Easter egg. I did two other games before this, and they went horrible. Like, I had such a hard time completing this boss. Or, not this boss. I, I couldn't even make it to the boss fight. Because I kept getting Fountain for the two-minute lockdown. And even with the Fire and Brimstone and with uh, Gas Grenades and with Boom Boxes. There we go. That's the term. I could not complete it for the life of me. Okay. Stay on the run. How? I shot the police dude like five fucking times. Oh, God. Hold on. Two exit. Stage left. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to get attacked by any zombies. I still have my 4th of July. I made sure the Wonder Weapon wasn't the Mule Kick weapon. Where the fuck is the alien? I don't know if you guys can tell, but I haven't done this boss fight or this Easter egg in over a year. So, I'm a little rusty. Yeah, like I said, in my defense, this is probably the year I've played the least amount of zombies since, like... 2013 or something like that just in between cold wars dlc which as a hardcore zombies fan like myself i did not enjoy and the utter catastrophe the utter disaster that was vanguard i just could not have fun playing it oh my god i don't know how i'm alive where the fuck jesus whiz stay in one spot for more than a second jesus all right, so now all I have to do is just kill him. Okay, and there's no zombie spawning. So I can just focus fire him. All right, now I gotta slow down and be careful. Let me run with these out. Five second muscle disappeared because we got the glitch where the rounds flip in the boss fight. That's always fun. Hopefully that doesn't happen with any other boss fight. It can happen with Rave because Rave is a joke, but... Come on. There we go. All right, alien dead. Let's grab the alien fuse. And let's do that. Wait, let's do that. Let's do that. Wait, why isn't this working? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's not fucking die. That's the plan. And they still have boss fight health. That's always fucking amazing. Come over here, UFO. 
Oh my god. Zombies in Spaceland. Besides Carrier. Might be my worst game. Dude. Why? What am I doing wrong? I don't remember this ever being an issue before. That's over it. What am I doing wrong? What the fuck? Do I have to install the alien fuses first or some stupid shit like that? Go. Fuck. Let me try running all the way up here. This is breaking nope. Okay, guys, I have no clue what I'm doing wrong. It's just not following me. There we go. Fuck. Stop. Oh, my God. Give me the talisman. Or don't. Okay, there's the soul key. Now, oh. I forgot about this. Shall we begin? No, we shall not begin because there will never be an IW Zombies 2. Alright, I made an oopsie. Um, for some reason I thought Director's Cut was like the Revelations... Wisp Easter egg thing where all box weapons and wall weapons are pack a punched. I traded out my DCM8 for a Reaver that's unpack a punched. So that's unfortunate, but we have a Ben Franklin. No Acid Rain, no Mauler. We got the Augur. Or Augur? I think this is the Augur. We're on round one. I didn't fail any steps, surprisingly. I always fail the arm step like the first time or two. I got it first time this time. So hopefully I can get this done right here and right now. Flawless so far. Hopefully it stays that way. I don't know how good the unpacked reaver is going to be. Hopefully it's better than a DCM-8. The only reason I took it off in the first place is because I had the infinite ammo one. That also damages you every time you take a shot. And that's obviously not good for a boss fight. Turn around, you dumbass. There we go. Yeah, no. Ah, uh, actually? It's a shorter than like six, seven shots. Maybe it isn't that bad. Okay. There we go. Phase one complete. Let's pop, uh, best for last. That's the one. There we go. Oh, what the hell? I've never seen these before. That looks sick. Yeah, the unpacked Reaver is actually doing some work. I'm not gonna lie. Not better than the pack-a-punched auger, but it's not the worst thing I've ever used. All right, there's phase two. I just need to do one more phase, and then that's the end. Thank God. Because this is one of the most boring boss fights ever. This is a much less difficult Durazendrac. And some people got mad the fact that I said that in my worst Easter egg video. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but it's kind of true. Why would they put the max ammo in a spot where you have to, like, hit a very specific hitbox to get it? Like, that's so annoying. Yeah. Brave mode's done. Now we just gotta shoot 10 things off him again, or however many it is, seven, five, 10, 69, something like that. And then we just gotta spam him until he's dead. I don't know how I got out of that. I thought for sure I was dead because I thought there was zombies behind me and I was in that slow ass water red screen with the super slasher charging me. I am very surprised I got out of that alive. And this ain't the last you're going to be seeing of the Reaver in this video. I'm going to tell you that right now. Spoiler alert, it's going to be in the next map we play, Shallow Shuffle. You're going to see me use the Reaver like crazy in that map. There it is. There it goes. Let me get the timer. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Um... Where's the soul key? There we go. And there it is, time. 16, 25, 13. What was that, like a half hour and 15 minutes of it was in the boss fight because that boss fight takes 30,000 years and it's not difficult. Like, I like rave a lot. I love the bright colors and everything in rave mode, but holy shit, is that one of the most boring fucking boss fights ever. It's boring, but at least it's not complete and utter dog shit. Like, this map. Alright, let's go into this boss fight. Let's get this over with. 
Hopefully I don't go down, so I don't have to rely on Pam's bitch ass to revive me. Because let's be honest, it will never fucking work. Let's go. So watch the Reaver. There, just like that, done. Come on, hurry. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Whew. That was her, I thought I heard a ninja spawn. Now they're spawning. Let's get this stuff done. There we go. Okay. Now, as far as I can remember, this step, like this step right here, is just a waiting game. You just gotta pray that you get good luck. And that the Rat King actually lets the brainwashed zombies mesmerize the uh, brain. I don't know if there's any way to do this faster. I've checked, like on speedruns and everything. Because if anybody knows how to do something as efficient and as fast as possible, it's speedrunners. As far as I can tell, another thing that you do is you just run around the outside. And don't almost get trapped like I just did. Oh shit, I just realized I don't have the timer on screen. Okay, give me one sec. Alright, alright, alright. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. Wabam. There it is. I'm sorry about that, I forgot. This game's been like an hour and a half, I want to say, or maybe close to two hours. This Easter egg sucks, like I said. I forgot just how bad this Easter egg truly is. And that's one of the reasons why I'm going through all of these Easter eggs and doing them all. It's because I want to remember specifically which ones are great, which ones are okay, and which ones, like Shallon Shuffle, are just horrible. There it is. You can kill all the ninja zombies so I don't get killed. Now it's a fight to the death with the Rat King, which won't take long because the Reaver is OP and there is the Easter Egg. Boom. Okay, I don't remember what the time was for Rave. I want to say it was like 1630 or 1620 or something like that. So like an hour and a half. It was 1625, so that was an hour and 16 minutes. Wow, that was a lot faster than I thought I actually did it in. Okay. Well, that horrible Easter egg is done, so let's jump straight on to the next one, which is debatably an even worse Easter egg. The steps are horrible, but at least they're not extremely obnoxious and really unfair, like a lot of the steps in this Easter egg are. Alright, so we're about to go in a boss fight. We're gonna put the chemical in right now. Hopefully I didn't mess it up. Okay, I did not mess it up. Okay, good. Sometimes like that, there's two quotes in the battery that sound pretty identical to each other. Like one's like, the guaranteed way is blah, 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 blah. And then there's a second quote that's like, I have a very strong feeling that blah, 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 blah will also take down or whatever. And sometimes I always like guess the wrong one and it throws me off. But thankfully that's not what happened here. So I took one down so far. Actually, hold on. We got the Kendalls and we got the FHR, the contact eye. One of my favorite SMGs ever. Like IW had some really nice SMGs. The FHR, the ERAD wasn't good, but it was a lot of fun to use. Uh, the VPR, oh, that's probably my favorite SMG in Zombies, to be honest. Can you fucking go? It took me like four rounds to get the battery. Like, it, it can start spawning in on round eight. And it took me until round 12, I think, right? Now, I want to say I can survive these, right? Yeah. Oh, shoot, I just realized I'm covering up the round. I am so sorry, guys. I was like on round... Seven for Spaceland, round one for Rave. I, I think I said that actually. I was on round 20, or no, I was on round 18 for Shaolin. And I'm on round 12 for Attack of the Radioactive thing. I am so sorry about that. That's really gonna piss me off whenever I'm editing this video. There we go, it's three. That was it, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was, okay. Actually, as a matter of fact, I gotta write down the code. All right, so in case you guys are ever having problem with this boss fight, pay attention. Whenever it gets, whenever the acid stuff gets up to here, he's going to shoot two crogs. Like two sets of crog pots. After he shoots the second one, pop mana up and run to the bomb. And you will not die in the acid. You can go here, type in your code. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, you can't do it if you're a fucking idiot like I am. You completely messed it all up. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Why did I have so much trouble with that? I will have no idea, clue, whatever. I'm so flustered right now, I can't even freaking talk properly. 
1838. So it took one hour to do a tax easter egg. I thought it was going to take a lot longer than one hour. Shallon and tax times both surprised me. I thought both are going to take an hour and a half to two hours, but no. We got an hour for basically both of them. So there it is, a tax easter egg complete. I had one down because I was doing the chemistry step and I'll show you exactly where I went down to. I was grabbing the drain opener, whatever parts in the bathroom over there. And I was running across and then my cat was freaking out so I looked over at him to see what was going on and then I did this and by the time I reacted I was like oh shit I'm gonna die I'm taking damage it was too late and I went down we're about to go into the beast from beyond boss fight I'm doing the old-fashioned director's cut um way I guess I don't really know I've been playing IW zombies all day so my head is pretty fried right now after this i'm gonna go to sleep because i am tired of shit from playing some unfair zombies i love iw zombies but it is not fair sometimes case in point the cryptid boss fight which we're doing right now now i don't know how much of this boss fight i will show you guys because i am not going to be talking a lot during this boss fight because even though i used to speed run this map and i've done this easter i completed this boss fight dozens of times i still have trouble with it and since the cryptids are really unbalanced with the iw game engine I will need to focus. I can't just give you a normal commentary while I'm doing this boss fight. So I will show you some clips so you know I didn't like cheese it or whatever or do some glitch or whatever. But oh wow, I thought that was the end. Okay, there we go. I want to time this. So when does the timer start? You gonna start the timer? All right, 4:17 on my record clock or timer clock, whatever. But why are you coming up this way? That's not part of the rules. That's not how this game works. Fucking cheater. Where is the rhino? Oh no, he's he's in there. Okay. So the strat here is to just run around for two minutes and keep the rhino trapped in this like inside room or whatever, like inside the crates. So I keep him inside the crates. It's a much lower chance. Like, I mean, much, much lower chance of me going down. I can't get stuck on his hitbox. I can't do a lot of shit. Okay, so we're halfway done. He's outside the box and it's been over a minute. Why is he not inside the boxes? Fuck. Mmm, I did not like that. I don't see the rhino, so I'm guessing he's just running with the rest of the cryptids. Oh, no, he's there. Okay. Right, let's try and keep him trapped in there. The way to keep him trapped is to just keep manipulating his pathing. Okay, that could have been bad. Like, you run one way, he'll run towards you, and then you run the other way as fast as you can. And before he gets out, he will be running back the other way, like you see me doing here. Oh, shit. I don't know how long it's been like that for, but... I love that a rhino can charge around the corner. That's fantastic. Oh, God. That was my fault. That wasn't even the game being stupid. That was 100% my fault. Oh, my gosh. Why do you got to ruin everything? I hate that just two fucking mammoths. Oh, why did he go that way? Oh, God. Ugh. That right there is why I hate this fucking boss fight. What was I supposed to fucking do right there? What was I supposed to do? Alright, we're going back in this time with a different weapon than the VPR. It's not the VPR's fault, but I wanted to try and get the mauler. I couldn't, but I got the next best thing, which is the FHR. The contact, uh, the FHR 420. You know, weed, lol. Let's go into this boss fight again. What the fuck? I ran through the fire! There's one. I quit. 
I'm done. I'm done. I'm not doing it. Oh, that's it. Okay, well, good. 19 zero, zero, 11. Yes, you were right. I did not talk a single moment during that whole Easter egg run because I did not want to play this map again. Also because I'm doing this on a different day and I'm pretty fucking tired, but still. There is the Beast from Beyond done. Should we throw in Mephistopheles boss fight just to see how it goes? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, and by the way, uh... I did that flawless on the third time. Mm. Holy shit, I was not ready for that. Alright, here we go. I've gotten a little better at the fire tornado section, but the lax se the lax section? The last section is still a toss-up. What? It was nowhere near me. Unless I'm just blind. It was over here. I don't know how it hurt me. Normally that's never a fucking problem, but in Mephistopheles, I, everything's a problem apparently. And I lost my evade. So that's fantastic. I never understood why they made evade disappear when you go down. I thought it was a round based fortune card. Like two rounds you get to use it, then it disappears. Why, did, why does it disappear when you go down? Alright, so here we go. We're about to go into the first boss fight for World War II Zombies, the Final Reich. I did the hardcore Easter egg, as you can see right here. We're about to shoot the fourth and final Tesla gun at the chandelier thingy to go into the boss fight to activate the hilt and kill the Panzer Mortar and everything like that. World War II Zombies is my least played Zombies game out of any Zombies game, easily, without a doubt. I played a decent amount of Water War in BO1. I played a lot of BO2. I played a little bit of Exos. I played the living shit out of BO3. IW, I played a lot. World War II Zombies, I barely played. And BO4 and Cold War, I played a lot. So, with that said, I think it's pretty safe to say that World War II Zombies is definitely the Zombies game that I have the least amount of experience in. Ow, motherfucker. I was shooting at the wrong thing. That's what I'm talking about. Like, I've only ever done the Final Reich, like, three times, four times. And then every other Easter egg in... World War II Zombies, I've only done once. Alright, there we go. Oh, shit. Ow, motherfucker. He didn't even hit me. what I say? I preemptively said ow. Wait, what? That's no. Fuck. Oh, my gosh. Of course I picked up the fucking Brenner head that was right next to the battery. I'm not going to try to pronounce it in German. Fuck no. There we go, there's one. Okay, so I do get max ammo. See, like, I didn't even remember if I got max ammos after every phase of the boss fight. You know what? Give me this... Hold on. Where is it? Give me this fucking Brenner head. What? No. You mean to tell me you actually hit me? They're just gonna throw it right there. So I will never accidentally pick it up again. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Throw that there. Let me grab a quicker box. Okay. Oh, I need fucking armor. I didn't even realize I didn't have armor. Ooh, that could have been bad. Yeah, see, like, I'm not used to having to buy armor, like, every time that I take, like, two or three hits or whatever. Like, if there was just Jug instead of the armor system, I feel like I would like World War II Zombies a lot more. But I just fucking hate the armor system. Oh, that was a... Bad idea. Alright, this should be it. As soon as I get him to fall down. There we go. Time. 2106.50. Oh my god, that took me like two hours. Oh my gosh. Okay, so 
The Beast from Beyond took me 22 minutes, and the final wreck took me 2 hours. My god. I was planning on doing this whole video under 30 hours, but if the final Reich took me 2 hours, I can tell you right now that the Darkest Shore will take me at least 2 hours, maybe even like 2 and a half. Shadow Throne will take me probably like an hour and a half, 2 hours, and the Tortured Path is going to take me around an hour. So, if I beat this whole, like, if I finish World War II before I hit 30 hours, I'll be lucky. Yeah, I'm Prestige 2, level 12, so that shows you how much I play World War II Zombies. Not a lot. Pretty much not at all. Why isn't this working? What did I do wrong? Hold on, I'm looking this up. I don't know what I did wrong. Alright, so I just looked it up and apparently I'm not doing anything wrong. I guess the game is glitched. I don't know, this should be opening. And for some reason it's not. And I've killed all the moisture as I thought. Especially since there's no more spawning. You'd think that would mean that I'm done. Okay, well I just took it down and that didn't fix it. So I don't think there's anything I can do really. Yeah, so I just looked it up and the boss fight is 1000% glitched. That should open. And this should say, hold square to transport. Okay, he can just straight up run through the pummel. That works. Cool. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with this. I'm saying this boss fight is glitched. Because I've been here since, I want to say, round 21. And there hasn't been a single moisture that spawned since round 21. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I can do to possibly fix this. Because I'm not doing this again. I'm just going to keep it straight with you guys. I am not doing this again. I'm in the boss fight. I would have completed the boss fight. But for some reason, the boss fight is glitched out. I mean, you guys have saw. I've been running around here for like 15 minutes straight. Just trying to get to the next phase of the damn boss fight. And it's not working. This should be open. Because do you see any moistures anywhere around this playing area? You know, I swore whenever I failed transit i was gonna complete every other easter egg and i was really planning on completing every other easter egg but you see some people don't know how to code their game properly so i don't get glitches whenever i play it so unfortunately there's nothing i can do about this i mean like seriously guys there's no moistures anywhere there hasn't been for 10 rounds i'm gonna try and get a zombie spine and if that don't work then i'm probably gonna end the game and like I said, I was rarely going to do every other Easter egg. Like, this isn't me taking the bitch way out, taking the easy way out like I did on Transit. I don't want to play Transit. This... I might be dead here. Yep, okay, whatever. That's fine. I don't care. And now I'm 22. Is my timer off? I think my timer's off. Anyway, I would have completed it because the third phase, it's kind of difficult, but... I have access to armor, a couple perks and everything like that. And obviously the fourth phase is just the same thing as the first phase, except they don't have as much health. So I think it's safe to say that this was a success. I didn't pause the timer. I'm just going to correct the timer with whatever the match time was. And we're going to run with that. All right, this is enough Darkest Shore for 2022. And it's December 28th, the day I'm recording this. So I'm not playing this map probably ever again. I think... This map is now my least favorite map again. So with that being said, let's slum straight on to the next World War II Zombies map, which hopefully I can get done fairly easily. The only step I'm remotely concerned about is the safe step because it's ridiculously unfair for Solo. But outside of that, I don't see us having any problem with the rest of the World War II Zombies Easter eggs. And once we're done with World War II, we're just going to be flying through the last two games. All right, so here we are. We're about to go into the Shadow Throne boss fight. I'm playing offline. Um... I don't know anything else to say about that. I hate this map. A lot of people like it. I don't know why. The Sizzlers absolutely ruined this map. All right, there we go. Now let's go, 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 go. Can Crawlers not attack you when you're doing that? If so, that's a great addition. I doubt it was intentional because it seems like nothing else that's good about World War II Zombies was done on purpose, but... And I'm sorry if you like World War II Zombies. I, I don't. I tried to give it some slack, but playing all these maps, and we're only on DLC 2, playing all these maps made me realize how much I hate World War II Zombies. Alright, moment of truth. Is it gonna hit me? Oh, fuck. Okay. Um. No, he's just gonna bleed out, I guess. I don't know why that door's not opening, but fuck it. 
You know? Don't need it. Holy shit! Okay, you can't do that to me, game. He spawned right on top of me. Okay. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here while we can. Dead. Oh my god, how am I not dead? I don't know why this door didn't open. I gotta get a max ammo. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna say it's a pass down. They better drop a fucking max ammo. Thank you, Marie. I didn't see that. I love this knife, can I just say? Although it doesn't seem to be 100% accurate. Like when I knife a zombie sometimes, it doesn't give me a heart. And I thought I'm doing heavy knife. Maybe I shouldn't do a heavy knife, I, but I thought you had to do a heavy knife to get the extra heart. Maybe I'm wrong. Why do I keep going back here? I don't have a jack in the box, so gotta pull off some super clutch moves, I guess. He's right behind me. I thought I heard him charging. Oh my. Of course. Uh, all right, that was a heavy attack. Yeah, okay. But that was a heavy attack as well. So like, why didn't it work? I'm dead. Yeah, there it goes. He's doing a cloud tornado thing, I think. Oh, I'm dead. It was nice knowing y'all. I know I said that like four times before, but this time I mean it. Like there's no way I make it out of this alive. Oh my God. Don't blow up. Oh my God. I gotta get to round 30, dude. If I can get another max ammo. Dead. Oh, I hate this fucking game, dude. World War II Zombies is fucking awful. Like, I'm just gonna be completely honest. If you like World War II Zombies, you have a very, very, very bad taste in zombie maps. <sighs> now I have to suck and do this whole garbage Easter egg on this whole garbage map again. Oh my god. Of course. Of fucking course. All right, here we are, back at it again. Let's see if I can actually complete it this time and not fail like a complete Dumbass. That'd be preferable. We in? We're in. All right. No games. I'm not even going to be talking. Oh, get the fuck out of here. I don't know why I can't get this door to open. All right, there's that phase done, I think. I don't know what I'm going to do. I know. Pop that. I just love the scissors. Like, they're my favorite addition to this map. I cornered myself. Okay, you know what? I'm throwing all my nades. Then I'm running for my life. Fucking melee, dude! Jesus Christ, this game is awful! I mean, fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm dead. And for some reason, I can't pop my consumable. I'm gonna give this one more attempt, and if I don't beat it, I'm canceling this video. I will upload this video as is, and this is the last Easter egg that we're doing. I'm not playing this shit again. It's getting one more attempt. One fucking more. Give <laughs> myself a fucking headache. Oh my god, I hate this fucking map. I'm gonna turn back on? Apparently not. I gotta fuck myself.
think I beat it. Yeah, I beat it. Thank God. Turn the timer back on the screen. Okay. Uh, timer. Wait. Timer. There we go. Okay. Shadow Throne Easter Egg completed. I hate this map. I really do. There it is. Hidden challenge complete. Obtain the blade. Protect the city. This is my first time completing it on Xbox. I've completed it a couple times on uh, PlayStation, but first time on Xbox. Give me the cutscene so I can pause the timer and never have to do this fucking Easter Egg again. Thank you. 23, 25, 35. So what is that? That's less than an hour, isn't it? I think... The Darkest Shore had me at 22.29. Yeah, 22.29. And this was 23.25. So less than an hour. Not bad. Not bad at all. For my third or fourth or second or something like that time completing it. Not bad at all. Let's move on to the Tortured Path, what many consider to be the worst DLC. And no, if I fail part two or part three, I'm not restarting the whole Easter egg. I'm doing it by section. Alright, here we are going on to the last step for part one. Part one's not really that difficult besides this step right here. Hopefully I don't fuck this up. If I do, I'm going to be pissed off. But it's not like Shadow Throne where it's going to be like an hour waste of my time. Is that you? Alright, that's him. Oh my gosh. Okay, well this was just made free. They blessed me with a uh, max ammo. I had no jack in the box. That's why I was worried. I just gotta make sure I throw a jack in a box. Ow. Oh, is he done? He's done. All right, someone come kill this bitch. Somebody. Thank you. All right. Let's go down here. Put that in. Grab this. Time. All right. So what was that? Huh? Oh, oh, sorry. I misread that. Okay, I misread. Okay. For some reason, I thought I did it in five minutes, but no, 15 minutes. All right. Not the worst, considering this, this is my second time ever doing this Easter egg. So let's move on to part two now. And my mic has been on mute this whole time. All right. Well, that's fantastic. All right. If I mess up this parkour shit, I'm going to hang myself. Leave that out. I'm a stamina recharge. Oh! Okay. There's one done. I wouldn't be so worried about it if I wasn't on my last life. I'm out of revives. Because... Across the depths, this map of the Tortured Path is so fucking unfair. Like, it's ridiculously unfair. Alright, last jump. Come on. Don't fuck this up. Oh, okay. Alright. Fuck, I lost it. I think it's that one. You ready to kill? It wasn't. It was that one. Son of a bitch. Okay, that one, I had my eyes on it the whole time. Alright, so now we just got the last one to do. Did not fuck this up, and we completed the Easter egg, finally. I don't want to tell you guys how long it's taken me. Well, I lost it. I'm just gonna guess that one. It wasn't, wasn't it? Uh, which one was it? Oh. Uh. Is it that one? Come on. Show me the money. What? Come on. Thank you. All right. All right. I'm gonna grab this thing. Time. Fuck this map. I hate this map. This is the worst zombies map ever. This is worse than Daron Fong. Actually, I don't know about that. But it's the worst map, either this or Daron Fong. One of the two. They both fucking suck. That's the point I'm trying to make. They are both horrible, unplayable pieces of garbage. If you've never played it, 
good for you. You saved yourself some sanity. I'm done playing this fucking map. I will never play this map again. If I end up doing another every Easter egg video or something, then I'm skipping the tortured path. Plain and simple. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. All right. Let's put this in. All right. There we go. All right. I think I can kill him now, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus, for letting this torture be over. No pun, but they sure did pick a fitting name for this Easter egg. The Tortured Path. You're damn right this is torture playing this garbage. Oh, my God. Never again. Never willingly again, let me say. Assemble the sword. All right. Time. All right. That's it. That's the Easter eggs. Or Easter egg. Easter eggs. I don't know if you want to count this as one Easter egg or multiple. But whatever amount of Easter eggs you want to call it. We can all agree that it's garbage. We can all agree on that. Correct? Alright. Let's move on to the uh, Frozen Dawn. Whatever it's called. Cannibalize the Ancient Evil. I don't know what any of these hidden challenges are. I know they unlock characters, but that's about it. Equip the Killer God. There we go. It's funny because this is what we're going to be using to kill the god. I'm going to play until I get a full power and then I'm going to the boss fight. Just to make sure I have enough frontline to kill him. There it is. Alright, so if you don't know, this is how you cheese this boss fight. Like, really easily. Alright, there we go. First part completed. I'm glad that I did get a full power. Oh, guys, you don't know how happy I am. I always forget how bad this game is until I go back and play it. Like, I had a lot of good ideas, but there's more bad ideas than there are good. All right, let's charge him. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Come on. Come on, let's defeat the ancient evil. Come on. Fuck him up. And there we go. Easter egg complete. Oh, my God. Thank you. Get me off of this game. Ugh, okay. You guys do not know how happy I am. I don't know when I should activate the timer. Oh, wait, I got to go back in here. Oh, well, time. <laughs> Defeat the ancient evil. Okay. I know I saw the thing pop up at the top. I completed the Easter egg before I got pack a bunch unlocked. Nice. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's actually hilarious. The fact that I beat the main boss before I even opened a pack a bunch. There we go. World War II zombies completed. Finally, so next up we're gonna head to Black Ops 4 Zombies, which I think is one of the best zombies experiences. I'm in the minority, I know. I like BO4 though, so we're gonna have a lot of fun on BO4. A lot more fun than I had on World War II Zombies, and you guys will be able to tell. After the catastrophe that was World War II Zombies with me failing multiple Easter eggs multiple times, taking like eight hours, I want to say? Six and a half, we'll say. Which I guess isn't too bad in the grand scheme of things, but it's a lot longer than I would have liked to play World War II Zombies for, if we're not counting the failed attempts. I failed Shadow Throne like three times. I failed part two of the Tortured Pass Easter egg like 10 times because the teleporting zombies on the small ass ship who thought that was a good idea? I'm not going to get into that now, but who thought that was a good idea? And I failed Darkest Shore, I want to say, once. So add that up, I spent like 15 hours on World War II Zombies, unfortunately. But since we got over that hurdle, we're pretty much home free at this point. All we have left to do is BO4 and Cold War. I'm going to really try to get this video finished, like in terms of me recording it, before Duran Vong's Easter egg comes out. I don't think it's going to be possible. What does it come out on? The 16th, I want to say? Oh, God. It's tomorrow. Oh, no. Oh, that means I have to download Color Vanguard Zombies. Oh, great. All right, so we're not home free. We got to do BO4, which will take probably as much time as World War II, maybe even less, with almost twice the amount of Easter eggs in it. Cold War, I'm not expecting to take longer than like five hours. And Duran Fong, I don't know. I heard it's like three steps and like 10 minutes long. But that means I have to re-download Vanguard. And I don't want to re-download Vanguard. I don't know. We're going to see how this goes. I don't think I have a choice but to download Duran Fong, unfortunately. But I don't want to end this video 
on the worst zombies map of all time, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna play BO4 for now, and I'm gonna think about it in the back of my mind, and if I come to a conclusion, I will let you guys know. But for now, we are ending with Forsaken because I really, really, really do not want to play Vanguard right now. Alright, now it's time for everyone's favorite step. The clock step. Give it up for the clock step, everybody. Woohoo! Round of applause. Real talk, though, I actually enjoy this Easter egg once you get past this step. Huh? Oh my god. Wait, what? Hold on. What the fuck did I do wrong? This is why I hate this step. Okay, so down reads 1025. Is that the time I have? No, it's 1125. I put up dash and down dash and backwards. Okay, well, at least I know what I did wrong. What the fuck? What am I doing wrong? Oh my god. I wasn't even fucking touching that thing. Oh, that's the problem. Up dash is 10.05. Just kill me, zombie. Just here, here. Put me out of my misery, please. Yeah. End it all. Thank you. Uh... You know, I say this all the time. I'm a major Voyage fanboy. I'm probably the biggest Voyage fan on planet Earth right now. Even I gotta admit, like, holy fuck. The start of this Easter egg is dog shit. I was just thinking we could use a good fire around So here. there was a fire zombie. Oh! He almost just five-headed the fuck out of my wraith fire. Oh my gosh. I've never seen a zombie actually walk around the wraith fire like that. Alright, come on, box. Give me the hellion. And the kraken. And homunculus, for that matter. That's one out of three. How about the Hellion now? Too much to ask for. This is a mean looking long rifle. I haven't used the Rampart in years. I was since I got it. Are you kidding me? Dude, I thought that was homunculus, dude. I was about to scream at the top of my lungs. Oh my god, I almost had the best luck out of any zombie player ever right there. Holy fuck. Two out of three is still really good in two hits. This is incredible. What? I pulled out my specialist! And maybe I shouldn't let that one zombie uh, put an end to my misery. Oh my god. So in five hits of the mystery box... Technically four, because the fourth one was the teddy bear. But out of those four or five hits, I got the Hellion, I got the Kraken, and I got Homunculus. This is the best luck I've ever had on Voyage. Here we go into the boss fight. I think we're just over an hour at this point, so by the end of this boss fight, we're probably going to be at like an hour and 15, hour 20. So if I can beat this boss fight before, let's say 2640, I'll be happy. Hurry up, Odin. Oh, there is actually no... Wait, what? Why is there collision on some parts of the iceberg, but not others? That's strange. Like, right there is collision, but uh, you saw me shoot the top. No collision there. I should probably stop wasting all my rockets, too. Hello, Odin. I love this soundtrack. Let's figure out so good. This thing. Turn this bitch up. Now, if you've done this Easter egg more than a couple times... You'll know that the first two phases are the longest phases. They're not necessarily the hardest phases, but they take the most amount of time. Now, I don't really keep up with speedruns in Voyage of Despair, but from what I know, there's no way to speed up these first two phases. So, you're just sitting here killing zombies for five minutes until you kill enough to where the Eye of Odin's happy with the amount of zombies you killed, you can go on to the next phase. Which I don't even know what that technical number is in the coding. And that's normally something that I seek out for a map that I thoroughly enjoy, like Voyage of Despair. I really wish the spawns were faster in the first two phases for this boss fight. Like, the first couple phases are extremely casual. And then it just ramps up in difficulty out of nowhere. Like, you do the first phase, you're like, oh, okay, this ain't bad. 
Oh, that was it? Only one Blightfather? Oh. Normally I fight two. Okay. Well, hey, I'm not complaining. What was that, like, three minutes for that phase? So if the second phase takes three minutes... Here, if every single phase in this boss fight takes three minutes, we will finish it at almost exactly 2640, like I wanted to. These first two phases take for fucking ever. Like, watch, guys. I will have the fourth phase completed in a minute. I'm telling you. That phase is so fast. The third phase is relatively fast as well. Oh, fuck. There's a stoker right there. He almost smacked the shit out of me. He did smack the shit out of me. That could have been death. If I'm being completely honest. I'm going for a risky move. It wasn't that risky. <laughs> okay, there we go. I was expecting like the whole horde of zombies to instantly chase me right there. Including the Blightfather. Thankfully they didn't though. Oh, that wasn't the end? I should have ran equipment. I wasn't even thinking. There we go. Alright, so I'm going in with only one homunculus, but that's fine. See, that, that part took me two minutes right there. Phase four will take me around a minute. Like, I'll probably beat it before 2530. Hold on. Since I'm ill-prepared in terms of homunculus... Yeah, just taking it slow. That's fine. That water zombie really fucked me over. Alright, there's phase four completed. That I would have been like 2530 if I didn't have less homunculus homunculi than normal. I don't know why I have uh armament or armamental comp Damn, I don't know any of these names for these uh elixirs. And where's this version of Voyage, by the way, with all the ice on the ship, or all the snow on the ship? This version looks so cool. Come on, hurry up. You know, it's kind of annoying that they nerfed this boss fight so hard. Like, this boss fight used to be insanely tough when it first came out. And now it's pretty much a walk in the park, if I'm being completely honest. Okay, that was a predicament to be in right there. Woo! Okay. Wow, that was really bad. I was stuck in the middle of the horde, and he was doing his wipeout attack. Because I got stuck, like I got frozen by his eye. You know what? I'm not even going to risk it. Grabbing the carpenter now. Now, in a second, I'm going to throw the second homunculus. As soon as I hear him teleporting. I'm going to throw it away from where I got to do the wipeout attack. There we go. Now it's just a fight to the death. I gotta do that one more time. Come on. I think I can get it done before 20, 2640. Come on. I think I can. Oh my god, I'm at four health. Woo! Oh my gosh. Nope. That sealed the deal right there. I'm not getting it before 2640. Okay. Uh, that it? That's it. Okay. No, that was before 2640. Wow. Okay. I don't know. Time. Okay. I don't know why that second phase counted. Like during the third part of the boss fight. If you guys, I'm gonna break this down. So if you know this boss fight, you know exactly what I'm talking about. During the final, like the third and final phase for the fifth part of the boss fight, when you're shooting him the three times and then getting him to do the wipeout attack. The second time I shot him, 
I didn't think I shot him enough because I shot him with two rockets and then he didn't immediately teleport away. When I did the third one before the wipeout attack, I was thinking, okay, so this is only the second one because the one didn't technically count. So I need to do this one more time. If you guys look back, you'll see I was getting ready to throw the homunculus and then he made the sound indicating that he was doing his wipeout attack. I was like, what the fuck? Why is he doing this? So I was shooting at him and then I had zombies coming after me with no homunculus. Wow, okay, that was intense. And here I am saying, oh, this boss fight's so easy. And I almost died like 25 times. But regardless, there's Voyage's boss fight. We're going on to the 9 next. And the final time was... Looks like an hour and 21 minutes, almost. So, I said in between an hour and an hour and a half. And we did it perfectly in between that time frame. So, with that being said, let's move on to 9. Alright, here we are. We're done with the lockdown step. Here we are going into the boss fight. Let me just think i don't think there's anything i need got a full shield got my perks we're going to the boss fight right now hopefully i don't die hopefully i'm not a dumbass hopefully i don't die to the easiest boss fight before cold war zombies all right so i'm going to explain my two down they both happen at the same time almost like they both happen within 30 seconds of each other i was doing really good on this easter egg and after i finished the kilowatt step and i did the lockdown with all the boss enemies in the spawn area I had a level one shotgun because I was not upgrading them at all at that point. And when I went in, I was just messing around. I was like, oh, this isn't too bad. And then I got swiped by a tiger, hit by a brawler. And then there was a second tiger charging at me. And I turned around to run with my shield out and I ran into fire. That was how I took my first down. My second down came because after I got up, I was trying to kill the 500 boss zombies that spawned since I downed. And I just got overran. As long as I finish this remotely fast, I think this will be a PB for me on nine. All right, first one's dead, and I got a carpenter to save me from my troubles. Okay, I was worried I was gonna have to go in this with a weak shield, but we are fine. Treyarch is actually, did you see that? Am I tripping? Or did that change colors like three times in a second? It went from purple to blue to green. Hey, look at that, I got the glossy hands. I don't know why that happens on the chaos maps, but it's hilarious because their hands get like super glossy. It just looks like they were doing something else instead of killing zombies. I'll leave it at that. Keep this video somewhat PG. Oh, fuck. Hey, come on, charge me, dumbass. All right, armor's down. Now, let me just throw a homunculus to make this last part easy. I can just focus fire her. Did I kill her? Oh, I killed her. I was running away from her charge-up attack, but I killed her. Nice. Okay. Well, that was easy with the Hades. Okay. Of course it was easy with the Hades. What am I saying? This thing's a fucking beast. And time. 274159. Better just say 2742. Voyage was 263945. Yeah, that's definitely my best solo time on 9 easily my best solo time on nine without a doubt it has to be come on half specter all right there's the fifth and final one completed. Let's go put all of them in and start this boss fight. Now this went pretty rough. I have not been able to find the Pack-a-Punch machine, which is... Shit, my TV's on. The volume's on. Hold on. I still gotta grab the one over here, but... It, if the Pack-a-Punch is at docks, I'm, I'm ending the game. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing built there, dumbass. All right, there's all five. Now, if I can get out of here. Oh my gosh. My God, okay, Victorious Tortoise just saved my life. I don't like running Victorious Tortoise on this map because the shield is so, such a uh, crutch thing to do the Easter egg that I don't like running Victorious Tortoise, but especially whenever I... Hold on. Okay, I have my specialists at least. 
I can go grab more. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. I just need to fucking pack a punch my guns. That's what the problem is. Okay, let me tell you how this game went. So, to give a brief history, I used to speedrun Blood of the Dead. And I used to be a top tier speedrunner at it. Like, it was always me and two other people going for the world record. Eventually, I decided to stop running it so I wouldn't want to blow my brains out anymore. I got the itch to try and do the speedrun strat again whenever I'm doing this video. So I tried doing the speedrun strat, which is, is you have time slip in your cola slot and stamina up in your tonic slot. As far as your brew and your soda, those you put a secret sauce because the main way you get across the map is with your shield like this and you use that thanks to the stamina up uh, modifier. So the sooner you can get the stamina modifier, the better off you'll be and the faster that you'll go. So not using any crutch perks, I know I have Winter's Whale, but having to rely on secret sauce really screwed me over. On top of the fact that I haven't done this Easter egg in like two years, or maybe not that long, like a year at least though. And as soon as I hop back on, I try and do the speedrun strat. <laughs> oh wow, this went bad. I wanted to beat this within like an hour and 20, but I don't think that's possible. Let me see. So I started at 27.41, it's 29.11. That's an hour 20. So now we're not going to beat this until like 29.20. Oh shit. <laughs> Whoopsies. Holy shit, this cutscene's like 15 minutes long. Oh my gosh, okay, so. I forgot how long this was. I was like, okay, I think I have enough time to go to the bathroom while leaving the cutscene play. Sure enough, I did. Because we're not even close to being done. I guess we are close to being done. This is the end of his dialogue, but still. Hey, Al, you want to hurry up, please? There we go. Okay, I thought my game was bugged for a second. Why does it seem like it took a lot longer than it usually does? The fuck? I didn't hit anywhere over here. Alright. 29.18. Yeah, it's gonna be around 29.23 probably. Actually, maybe not that long. What the fuck? He just fell through the map. Did you see that? <laughs> Wait. No. My game better not be glitched now. Oh, uh-uh. Hold on. Oh, okay, okay. Alright. Huh? Okay. That was very strange. Now, like I said, I used to speed run this map. I've probably done this Easter egg upwards of I don't even know how many times. And I've seen a bunch of people do this Easter egg, and I've never seen that happen before. The warden just falling through the map? I've never seen that before. That added some excitement to this boring ass boss fight. Hey, look, it's Tagged or Toten fans. Would you look at that? There you go. All right. Time 29, 22, 34. So that took me more like an hour and 40 minutes. Wow, okay. That took me a lot longer than I thought it would've. I feel like I was on good pace too with how I used to speedrun this map, but I guess not. All right, so here we are on the classified Easter egg. We are on the third and final round for Groom Lake, and I believe it's a dog round. Yes? Yes, okay. So now we just gotta end this dog round and this will lift up. We can grab the Project Scatty Winter's Howl. Okay, there they are. They're killed. And... Yes, no. Wait, I think it takes a minute to trigger. If not, we'll just do one more round. No big deal. Okay, well, we're doing one more round, I guess. <laughs> oh, well. Not a big deal. Throw these out. Yeah, so I took two downs on this Easter egg, but I'm not counting them because... They were both on purpose. You can get the... There it is. Okay. I'll continue in one second. Grab that. Get the winter's howl. And time. 29, 33, 33. What was my time for blood? 29, 22. So that took 11 minutes. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Anyways, like I was saying, to get the 
uh, code, I don't know which map it is, I think it's Shangri-La. But to get its code early, like you can down yourself with a frag grenade and spam the walls with the pack bunch welling to get that code way earlier than they intend you to. And the first time I messed up, I didn't shoot him in the right order. And the second time, I did. Here's where my two downs went from. I didn't down on accident on round nine, but before round nine. Definitely not. I would never, ever do such a thing. I fucking love this Winter's Howl. Let me just tell you. The Winter's Howl is the best thing about this map. It's so, it's so good. It's beautiful. Look at it. All right. Let me stop obsessing over this thing. Let's move on to Dead of the Night. I'm packing the Spitfire one more time, and then we're going in the boss fight. All right, here we go. Firebomb it is. What was that? A carpenter? Worthless, but I'll take it since I risked my life for it. Oh my gosh, I forgot I have to hold square for like 30 seconds. Son of a bitch. There we go. It's so annoying that you can't walk down this. I can look around, but I can't move. Nice. Okay. Uh, Dead of the Night could have been one of the best zombie maps of all time if they just finished it. Why is only one of his eyes glowing? Is that a bug? I don't remember it always being like that. The fuck? Son of a bitch. I don't know how these things work. I've never figured it out. Like, they just go so fast sometimes, and other times they go super slow. Well, if I can bring down a creature like this... Oh, God. Don't hit me. No, don't go that way. Why does it keep going so fast? Okay, there's phase one done. Man, I am rough on this boss fight. I've only done this boss for like 10 times. As compared to most other Easter eggs, I've done probably 10 times the amount I've done this Easter egg. I think Dead of the Night's a really cool map, but I just, I've never really been able to get into it. Like, I'm not someone who hates on like, oh, this map fucking sucks because there was no marketing and there's 50,000 parts to grab around the map. I don't care about stuff like that. Yeah, like, yeah, it kind of is annoying that there's like, what, 30 things to grab with three separate spawn locations for the most part. That's annoying, but the actual map itself is a lot of fun. Like, the Easter egg's fun too. I just... Like I said, I, I'm, I was never able to just get into it for whatever reason. Oh, God. Okay. I forgot that they don't attack you whenever the Red Crimson's face raping you. Can I say that on YouTube? I don't know. Maybe I'm just better off bleeping that out. Woo, just in time, too. Oh, I should have ran stock option. I didn't even think about that. That would make this part a lot easier. And we got the best effect, so yep. It should be boss fight complete. Yep, there it is. Just like that. Easy. Let's blow up the moon. Fuck. And... Cutscene? Cutscene? Hello? There it is. Jeez, a whiz. Why did that take 30 seconds to load? I don't remember it taking that long any other time. All right, well, there's Dead of the Night completed. Let's move on to one of the best maps of all time. If you disagree, you are wrong. Let's go on to Ancient Evil. All right, we're going into the Alpha... Alpha Omega. Well, fuck, wrong map. Redo, redo. Hit the box one more time. Oh, fuck, I don't have enough points to hit the box one more time. Okay, well, I guess we're going into the boss fight now. No homunculus. Whatever, that's not a big deal. I forgot this dude's here. I forgot how cool this boss fight was. This is insane. Very light. Oh, thank you. You gave me a max ammo. Thank you, Oranos. Or not Oranos. Oracle, that's her name. <laughs> Poor Pegasus. Feels bad. Feels very bad. Okay, well, looks like I'm not getting that. Yeah, so in this game, I actually got a Winter's Whale perk from the Legendary drop. Or, the Epic drop. Whatever the max one is. So with Winter's Whale on top of my OP class setup as this with my perks, I really didn't think I was going to go down at all this game. And I haven't. Oh, fuck. Okay, let me not get cocky. I did not even see that Giganes. Holy shit. 
Are you fucking serious? That was just a little intense. Just a little bit. Can we come over here? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There we go. I'm gonna try and cut this part out because you can probably hear me spamming my left trigger and right trigger. Oh no! I got my scepter level three. That's not good. Rip Pegasus! Ah. Uh. All right, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I guess I'm just gonna have to damage him normally with the scepter. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. So if you guys don't know, I was using the scepter of Ra because on level one and level two for it, you can actually spam both of your triggers and you will actually melee twice as fast as you saw me doing. But it doesn't work on level three because level three has the attack that requires both triggers. Oh, this is so slow. Oh my gosh. Awful. Absolutely awful. Oh, great. And there's a Giganese now, too. Hopefully, I can kill him next time. I forget how long it takes to kill him with the... Oh, fuck. Okay. How long it takes to kill him with the Scepter. Did I do it? I did it. Okay, so it is only two. Okay. That's not as bad as I thought it was originally, but still a lot slower than if I could just fast melee. Wait a second, is that the same texture they use for the lava and Tagger Totem? I gotta check this out now whenever we go to Tagger Totem in time. 313607. So that is just under one hour. The other night was 3037, this is 3136. You know, it really sucks we'll never see what happened to Chaos. Chaos was great. I don't care what you say. If you say chaos is bad, you're wrong. The mask looks so stupid on her. Oh, it's so big. Why is it so big? Look at that. What is that? Okay, let me calm down. And I would say to be continued, but to be never talked about again by Treyarch officially. Thank you, Rushmore. Let's get this elemental shard. Oh, I still have the what's it called on. Uh, on Dead Man Walking, you're killing my time right now. Come on. I refuse to ever do that orb escort step without the On Dead Man Walking code. So I always put it in and I always get in this predicament. Oh, there we go. We're done. Okay, let's get to Elemental Shard. Except let's not get the Elemental Shard. Bend over. Here it comes again. Voice free. Bend over. What? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, this cutscene still gives me chills. Oh, I don't like it. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not confident in my abilities to complete this boss fight with no downs. I went down twice, stupidly, and everyone's like, oh, this boss fight's so easy. This boss fight gives me so much trouble. I'm not even gonna lie. Case in point. I pulled my shield out, but my shield didn't come out. And I had it down earlier. I wasn't recording, but I pulled my specialist out and my specialist didn't pull out until after I went down. And then it started the animation after I went down of pulling out the chakrams. Now I gotta do this Easter egg again. <sighs> Whatever. At least I like this map. Okay, we are back. Believed to be a much better time. I wanna say I was like, 3230 or something right now last game so all right let's go 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 i'm getting a jump start on the avogadro i'm not fucking around this time let's go come on where are all the zombies at the fuck oh my gosh he took my max ammo what the f dude come on the avogadro is so fucking unfair like Oh, I hate this. Oh, God. The fuck happened? Dude, this boss fight's really starting to piss me off. Give me my fucking max ammo. Fuck you, Avogadro. The toxicity right now is unreal. I'm being as toxic as humanly possible towards an AI. Yeah. Do I regret it? No, I don't, because fuck the Avogadro. Give me that. 
full power. Almost caught it a max ammo. That's the wrong drop. Unfair, unfair, unfair. You know, I wanted to use the whirlwind effect on the chakrams because I love doing that. I was going so fast that I just wasn't worried about using my chakrams to get them level three. That's three down, three down, one to go. Guess it's you next, beds. If you get that reference, you're a real one. You're a goat. All right, here we go. I think this is sub 60. I think this is sub 60. Not that it matters. This isn't a speed run. Or it kind of is, but kind of not. Yeah, beat his ass with the level two chakrams. <laughs> yeah, get fucked. Get out the corner. Bitch! Go! Okay, we didn't kill him with the chakrams, but there he goes. He's dead. Whoopsies. <laughs> Alright, let's kill him. There we go. Rest easy, my friends. Avagaro is now safely contained in a broken arrow facility in Washington State. He's their problem. <laughs> yeah. Why? He is their problem now. <laughs> I love that fucking quote. Come on. And time. So 32 29 44. I beat Ancient Evil at. 31 36 07 so that's two easter eggs in a row that have been sub 60. i'm gonna tell you right now though that that streak ends right here because there is no fucking way that i beat tagger toten in under an hour no way i've done that easter egg maybe five times ever that has to be my least played easter egg i probably even completed firebase easy so i ignore well here no because i know i've done it more than Tortured Path and shit like that. So, my least played Treyarch Easter Egg. There we go. Can I get a Rip Maxis? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, poor Sam. Ah, shit. That's all we fucking need. <laughs> Imagine how much better these cutscenes would have been if they were CGI. Like, it didn't bother me at first, but looking back at it, this is... This is awful. The ending of Ether got these comic book cutscenes. Feels bad. Oh, flawless too, by the way. All right, let's begin the final part of this god awful Easter egg. And I actually didn't take 35 years to get the Hellion, which was nice. All right, let's do this thing. I love how it replays the Voyage boss fight music for the Eye of Odin. Watch this. Never mind, I got the timing wrong. Fuck. <laughs> Whoops. I only do this Easter egg like once a year, so. Even for all the hate that I get, where's my fucking power ups? Don't pay to step too far from that thing. Oh, they're in here. As I was saying, even though I give this map a lot of flack, this last part is honestly kind of cool. Dare I say my hate for Tagger Toten is slightly weaker now. Just slightly. Hey, I got the purple. Nice. Doing Easter eggs, you almost never get enough kills to actually get these camos to change. Which I thought the uh, reactive camos was a great idea. They should do that for the next game. All right, what the fuck is taking so long? Can we hurry up? And so I'm actually flawless right now. I have not went down at all. I tried saving a horde for when we get up here, but... This is just too fucking long. I gotta be careful, I only have one winner's whale charge left. Oh fuck. I'll be fine though. This thing is literally an insta-kill to like any zombie ever. There we go. Oh wait, what? It doesn't take off your health when you're ziplining? That wasn't always the case, was it? I don't think it was. All right, here we go. The final stand for Call of Duty Zombies. Man, do I wish it was because the games after this, what a fucking letdown. Oh, fuck me, I don't have a shield. Oh, 
Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Can I just stand here and uh, they just keep running away from me? Is this how the Eater storyline's gonna end? It is. What a fucking joke. Oh Damn, I got it green now too? Look at me. Man, this is great right here. Do you, do you see this? Take the Agarthin device. Now actually, before I do this, before I officially end the Ether storyline, I have to get my contract done. <laughs> Give me 30 seconds. There it is. Okay. Now let's go complete this Easter egg. <laughs> now I gotta give him the, what's it called, correct? The seal of duality. There it is. Thank you, Pablo. Why is the light still on for the golden pack-a-punch? Never understood that. Ow, that fucking hurt. And the round changed. Man, th isn't this map just fantastic? There we go. My friends! Whoa, what the fuck? Let's go retrieve the Agarthen device. So, overall, not too bad. Had zero downs. Come on, give me cutscene. Uh, there we go. Time. 33.48.19. So, Alpha Meg was at 32.29.44. So, that was like, what, an hour and 15 minutes? That was the fastest I've ever completed this Easter egg, dude. Holy shit. How did I complete it that fast? I'm going to tell you guys right now that we will be done before 40 hours, without a doubt. I'll go more in depth when I do my intro for Cold War, but there is no way that it's going to take me more than six hours to do all the Easter eggs in Cold War. No way. Actually, there might be a way. <laughs> now that I think about it. That's going to be the goal, though. I'm going to try to complete Forsaken, as well as the rest of the Cold War maps, obviously, with under 40 hours on the timer. I think I can do it. I honestly think that that's possible. Man, it would have been so fucking cool if we got a Great War map. Imagine. To just fight in the Great War. Like, Revelations, but even more insane. Ah, what a missed opportunity, dude. For having budget cuts, they sure did now this fucking ending my beloved like i absolutely love this ending and this part right here this is this is pure magic and with that there goes the ether storyline and there goes call of duty black ops 4 kick it ass <laughs>we are on the eighth and final game that we will be playing in this video we are on black ops cold war zombies even though i'm not a fan of cold war zombies i'm still excited to play it and i'm excited to finish off this video and see what my final time is going to be for every single easter egg so if we bring up the timer now if we look we can see every single map's time so far i think the longest that any map has taken me is the final reich at two hours and six minutes i think that 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 has to be the longest amount of time it has to be there's no way it's not and i don't know if it really counts or not but the fastest time is obviously the giant at a whole three and a half minutes <laughs> that's kind of bittersweet to be on the final game for this video this video as i said in the beginning has taken me over a year to record and sit down and play through every single easter egg in zombies history and I'm kind of sad that I'm finally at the end of it. Whenever I was doing Exos, BO3, IW, World War II, when I was doing like those three or four games, when I was doing the games in the middle, it felt like this was never going to end, but here we are at the end. So the only Easter eggs that we have left to complete still are D-Machinas, Firebase Zs, the Outbreak Legion, the Outbreak Order, Mauer der Toten, and finally, Forsaken's Easter egg. I thought about it while playing BO4 and I've came to the decision that I will not be doing the Terra Medallica or whatever the fuck that map's called, the Vanguard Zombies main quest. Because first off, it's not even called an Easter egg or a main quest. Treyarch is only calling it a story quest. Second of all, Classified and the Giant's Easter egg are harder, so 
I'd rather end with the end of a solid game in a lot of the community's eyes than end on a bad easter egg for a very bad game that everybody in this community hates. Plus when I started making this video, I believe Outbreak was the most recent thing to come out. So we're going to end on Forsaken. So with that being said, let's jump in to the 8th and final installment into this video. Let's jump in to the easter eggs of Black Ops Cold War Zombies. Here we are in the D-Machine boss fight. Man, I forgot how easy the Cold War easter eggs were. Like, if you're a Cold War fan, you're probably tired of people saying it, but it's true. These are way too fucking easy. It took me, I believe, 20 minutes to get in this boss fight. There is a good possibility that I will have this Easter egg completed in less than 30 minutes. Same with Firebase Z. Alright, let's protect my boy Orlov. Yeah, but we got the dead me. We have the Raygun Gallo. We're living good right now. Actually, let me pack a punch this. I'm helping. Chill the fuck out. You're acting like you're gonna die. I could literally leave you here and have the zombies attack you for like 30 fucking years. And I'd come back 50 years old and you'd still be fine. Actually, that's not true. Call of Duty's garbage servers will probably give out by then. Why is he so bossy? Like, you ain't getting this done without my help. You might want to be a little nicer. Let's go, Orlov. I'm gonna throw that there. And that should protect him long enough to get it done. If I go over here, the zombie should be focused on me and not him. Correct? Nope. It don't matter because this boss fight is completed. Can you hurry up? Wait, why do I have no ammo in my wonder weapon? Oh, God. Whatever. Just come on. Thank you. Uh, let's get the fuck out of dodge. Take this. I beat the helicopter here. How the fuck does that work? <laughs> Come on, hurry up. Get down here. They really didn't keep in mind that they were going to buff the shit out of your speed halfway through this game's life cycle, did that? I agree, let's move it. Time. Was the round covered up again? Son of a bitch. Where's the round in... Cold War? I'm sorry, we were on like round 12 or something though. 13 rounds. Zero downs, obviously, it's a Cold War Easter egg. I'm not going down unless it is the Legion boss fight or potentially Valentina's boss fight. But I'm gonna try to go flawless throughout this whole game. And there's a good chance that I will do that. And when did they reset my level to level one? What? Wait, what? Why is this game supporting Vanguard? They really want people to fucking play that monstrosity, don't they? Well, maybe they should have just made a good fucking game and people would have played it. I don't know. Just a thought. Enough toxicity. Let's move on to the worst zombie map of all time. People are not going to be happy with that. So it turns out my math was off and I was, I skipped out on 10 minutes. So instead of this being sub 30, this was sub 40. It was like 38 minutes. Here we go on the Firebase Z boss fight, finally. If you guys know me, you guys know how much I hate this map. I think this is Treyarch's worst map. Worse than Transit, worse than Dire Eyes. I don't have fun playing this map. So, needless to say, I'm pretty happy we're finally almost at the end of this. Let's go into the boss fight. Alright, here we go. Maxis and Makeshift Scarlet getting in the van, going away. Oh wait, I forgot about the most underwhelming boss fight in Treyarch history. And we're done. Oh, I really hate this boss fight and this map. Fuck, I forgot to timer. Pause. Okay, I was a couple seconds behind, but we'll let it slide. So 350747. So if my math's correct, Firebase Z took 41 minutes? That's not bad. That might be my fastest time, to be honest. Normally, I like to wait and get the RPG and just decimate him in three seconds, but I decided I'd do the speedrun strat. I've seen this a while back, and... Good to see it still works, and Treyarch didn't at least mess with that with the Ray K. Oh, wow, I can't wait for Outbreak. Woohoo! Okay, let me stop. <laughs> I gotta stop being so negative just because it's Firebase Z. All right, well, 
there was Outbreak, or Outbreak. There was Firebase Z. Now we're going to move on to Outbreak. We're going into Operatia Inversia. This little section right here is probably my favorite section in Cold War Zombies as a whole. I got you an insta-kill, Ravanov. You better fucking use it. What the fuck am I wearing? How am I gonna get that? There we go. Now let's go back. Let's grab our ether canister. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, grapple hooks are so good. And... Get number two. Clear out all the mimics. Now let's go over and get our jellyfish. And then we're done. It didn't give me the key. What the fuck? Why didn't it give me the key? Oh my gosh, and it fucking teleported me to the bottom. This run was going very smooth, and then it just went to complete shit out of nowhere. To the mold with you. <sighs> Said it once and I'll say it again. This run was going so smoothly, and then it just went to complete shit out of nowhere. There we go. Fucking hell. Enough. Oh my gosh, dude. Motherfucker! Yeah, I don't have enough for speed call, but fuck it. That's fine. Nine minutes till missile launch? Are you sure? Looks like they forgot to update the voice line. I don't have any ether shroud. That ain't good. Don't let me down, M16. Don't let me down. There's one. Come on, pop. There we go. Where are they? Oh my god. Are you fucking serious, dude? I'm really starting to get mad now. But he teleported right on top of me right there. Oh god, am I dead? No, I'm not, surprisingly. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Did they change this boss fight? I don't remember the strategy being this ineffective. I used to destroy this boss fight with this exact setup. Maybe it's just because I'm out of practice. I don't know. Yes, I know. There's two... Come on, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Dude, these mimics are... S Go to somewhere I can hit you, please. Of course you didn't. Why would you? This might be the end. You think I want to, Ravanov? I can't go there either. Alright, round two. Let's try it this time. Maybe I'm not going to be a complete dipshit this time. That would be nice. This time I'm a little more prepped. I got the red cape from a Megaton drop. Got a silver chalice on it as well. I took one down earlier on like round one because I was trying to do the HVT. I also got Gersh devices, Mule kick from a drop, and C4s. There's one. Way to be a pessimist, Maxis. Like, holy fuck. And is there enough boss zombies on the field? Fucking hell. I'm level 9. Yay. But it's for Vanguard, so I don't fucking care. Oh, uh, sliding is the best thing to ever happen to zombies. And I can't get him right there, so... Uh... I'm gonna just focus on... I was gonna say crowd control, but there's two. There is still one left, and time is running out. Sam, we got six and a half minutes. Relax. 
This is going a lot smooth. This is what I remember the Legion boss fight being like. Me running around with complete control over the zombies, manipulating them to go exactly where I want them to. Legion's not really attacking me. This is what I remember this being. That last game, that was like, that was a fluke. Oh no, come on. Wait, what? Wait, what the fuck was that? Wait, what? Can he do fake teleports? I've never seen him do that before. No way that's always been a thing, right? That has to have been a glitch. All right. I was going to say let's finish this, but never mind. He got to be a bitch and do his little wipeout attack first. Left Where is it? Do I need to tell you what happens if you don't clear the hatches? Kaboom. There it is. All right, and that should be it, correct? There it is. All right. See, that is what I remember the Legion boss fight being. Not that last game. That last game, I don't know what the fuck happened. This is what it should have went like the last game. Flawless. Or, er, boss fight flawless. And time. 36.07.01. Wait, is that one hour even? No, that's technically less than an hour. Because Firebase Z was 35.07.47. This was 36.07.01. So I was 46 seconds away from being an hour. So that's sub 60 on three maps in a row. Great, if only I could have got on Tiger Totem, we would be like six maps straight with sub one hour. That would be great. I do expect the only other Easter egg that might take me over an hour is Mauer, just because I haven't done it in, I don't know, eight months probably. Yeah, so the final three Easter eggs, Outbreak Order is probably gonna take me around 45 minutes or less. Mauer, like I said, it might take me around an hour but I'd say definitely under 80 minutes, an hour 20. Definitely under that. And Forsaken, I don't see taking 40 minutes as well. Because that one is so fucking easy. So, let's move on to the second Outbreak Easter Egg, which is against the Orda. Some people don't view it as an Easter Egg, but I do. So we're going to do it in this video. So let's move on to that right now. What the fuck? Why did it just teleport me 7,000 meters away from the thing? I swear to fucking everything. If this fucking fails, I am going to lose my fucking mind. Doesn't look like it's going to. Yeah. Cold War Zombies better than BO3, by the way. I literally paused the game, pressed record, unpaused the game, and here we are. Well, that's a great way to say that we are on Outbreak Part 2's Easter Egg. The good news is, after this, I won't have to play Outbreak probably ever again, unless I end up doing another video of this caliber. Right here, of course, we got the trusty, good old, reliable M16. Uh, Blue Rarity Double Packed. I got a Silver Chalice, which was great. Saved me a fuck ton of time. We don't even need that much power, to be honest. Probably went a little overkill on it, but no big deal. All right, I'm actually going to... The fuck's going on with my hand? I'm gonna switch to Ring of Fire now. I'm hoping that I can get it filled by the time I get to the order, so I can take him out as fast as possible. That that's the whole plan right here. Get Ring of Fire, kill the order in two seconds, board the plane, get shot down, and go to Mauer. Get me off of Outbreak. Looks like I'm gonna be just shy. Like by a couple kills. Unless. Actually? Oh, okay. Wow, that was perfect. It's right here, isn't it? Where it stops? No? Okay, there it goes. All right. Yeah, okay. We're done now. Objective completed. Now, we're not going to do all that extra shit of going through all the what's it called and whatnot. We're just going to jump over, grab this, grab this, play the recording device. So, how's it going, everyone? This is what we call must-watch content. Look at this Easter egg. His gameplay is just on another fucking level. Do I have to do something else? I don't think so. I don't have to keep doing that, but I always... Oh, I just took a mangler to the face. Okay, why am I having trouble? Oh, fuck! Okay. All right, we're invincible right here. He's not going to climb over that. No, motherfucker. Stop it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, thank you, Lost Soul. Maybe I should have upgraded my gun to purple, Rarity, before I went in this boss fight. 
Oh, I'm on a timer? I never realized I was actually on a timer before. I'm kind of embarrassed on how long this is taking me. Maybe I should have ran to Gallo, now that I think about it. To be fair, I don't think I've hit him in his mouth one time. You know what? Fuck it. I'm tired of waiting. There we go. He finally opened his fucking mouth. Get me on there. Can I not actually deploy? Guess not. Okay. Time. 36.44. That should have been like 36.40, but it took me 20 minutes to take out the fucking order for some reason. So 36.07. So that makes this, what, 37 minutes? Again, could have been around like 30 if I just didn't take 30 fucking minutes to take out the order. Well, there we go. There is outbreak done completely. We can finally move back to round base where zombies belongs. Please, Treyarch, don't don't do this objective base crap ever again. Keep the objective stuff to the Easter egg. Don't implement it into the core gameplay. Mauer der Toten. Here we are. You know, this map has really grown on me since I last played it. Like before this game, if you asked me to rate Mauer, I'd probably say like a five out of ten. But now it might be like a seven to me. I really like it. But there's the second uh, crystal thing. Oh, I didn't grab another Gersh device. Son of a bitch. Oh, well. We'll be fine. Let me check. Okay, so... 36-44. I have nine minutes to beat this boss fight. I think I can do it. All right, let's go. Let's go. Requiem, your orders stand. The majority of her army and the Forsaken are still in the dark ether. Ringer fire is so OP in this boss fight. <laughs> I can't stand that you can't get charged towards the next ring of fire while ring of fire is active. There's the first one done. Actually, while I'm down here, I'm going to grab another Gersh device. Just in case. Hey, I got the glitch. Hey, fuck you, Mangler. That fucker tried to shoot me into her beam. How much longer till this phase is over? Stay on the run. Okay, there we go. And we got a ring of fire for next phase, which is good. Fuck her up. Did I already kill her? Holy fuck. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, my gosh. Do you do this fucking attack enough? You know, I just thought about it. I probably should have thrown a... Gersh device down with my finger fire. There we go. Okay, please tell me that's it. That looks like the correct amount of health left. Are you done? You're done. Okay. Get me up here. Let me grab a couple perks. Elemental pop and death perception. You know what? We don't have time to grab another Gersh device. I gotta grab armor though. I just realized the time. We have four minutes. Less than four minutes to do the final two phases. Okay, we're back. I don't know where... The last recording just cut off, but I ran out of storage on my PC. This video has taken so much of my fucking space on my hard drive. We just completed the third phase. We're at 374150. We have around two minutes, I want to say. I paused the timer in the game, so we're going to start it back right now. Let's go. Oh shit, hold on, wait. Okay, now let's go. I forget how long it takes to escort Klaus. That's why I'm kind of concerned. We'll definitely have the boss fight completed by like 43. Oh god. Are you fucking kidding me? She has like a dick tap of health left. Are you fucking kidding me? Dare you intervene? Dude, get the fuck out of here. I got robbed so fucking hard. Come on. I got robbed so hard right there. I can't skip this cutscene, can I? Come on, Klaus. Come on. Hurry, 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 hurry. I don't know if I'm going to get it. Go, 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 go. Come on. Hurry up, Klaus. We ain't got time to just walk 
Run, Klaus. I don't think I'm gonna get it. Gone. 37-44-55. Oh, come on. Oh, would you look at that? If I didn't run out of Cerberus ammo, when I only needed like one more shot on her, or if she didn't pop her immune bubble to some of the tormentors, I would have gotten sub 60. But because of that, we got one hour and 19 seconds. Ah, uh, I got robbed so hard right there, guys. It's not even funny. Well, with that being said, there's Mauro Toten. Let's move on to the final map in this video of 50 Easter eggs. Let's move on to Forsaken. Actually, let's not move on to the Forsaken Easter egg just yet, because I forgot to mention this at the time, but before I beat Forsaken's Easter egg, I actually went back and beat the Easter eggs that I failed on this video. If you remember a couple hours ago, I failed Trantis Easter egg, the Mephistopheles boss fight, and I failed the Darkest Shores Easter egg. I failed them a few more times, so this will be a mini Rage Taj of Sword, along with my completions of the aforementioned Easter eggs. So with that being said, I'm gonna let Jules from the past take back over this video, and he will be raging on transit hopefully i don't break my controller i don't know only one way to find out let's go what am i fucking doing wrong you got it Almost. All four must do it simultaneously. Together. Together. Max ammo. Yeah. 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 Almost. Oh, how? <laughs> Thank God. Oh my God. Fuck this. Okay, we're done here. You know, maybe I should have took this slide off. Got fucking Ultra Instinct, Meth. You can't hurt me. Palms are sweaty. Holy fuck. Please do not be clapping sheets. He's boying me. I got the craziest name for all of these attacks. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woohoo! I'm not even gonna bother explaining what the fuck's going on right now. So if you know, you know. If you don't, don't worry about it. Woo! Boy, okay. Sheesh. I am out of fucking practice. Okay. So even though I wasn't running, the ninja zombie still teleported behind me somehow. Now, I don't have evade anymore because IW Zombies isn't coded, right? I was just about to go in there for that max ammo. I'm glad I didn't. i just like to know how. Ooh, starting off nice, aren't we, Math? Oh, I got the skip. Would you look at that? Now that we got the ELO site, it's much easier to actually see what the hell's going on. If you don't know, the VMC site, the site I had on before, gives a damage boost to LMGs. Which, that sounds like a nice trade-off, but then you remember that you have to be at extremely agile in this boss fight. You can't just sit around. Like, you probably can't stay in one spot for more than 10 seconds. That's why Evade is, like, the best Fate and Forger card ever. Oh, thank you. Yeah, get away from me, asshole. God, I didn't hear that one. Fucking stop shooting me. Oh my god. Get your anger out now. Because when we're in the final phase, I don't want you spamming attacks at me. Okay. Didn't go down that time. This boss fight is just all audio. Like, you learn his attack sound. That's like the hardest part of this boss fight. That and having cat-like reflexes, two sad attacks. Oh my gosh, of course. One, 
two, three, four, five. Nope, Rhino spawned. Or did they? No, they didn't spawn. Look at me go and rank 314. I can't tell you the last time I actually got that bypass to work. I was about to stop going for it. What a dumbass. He's about to put me through hell. No pun intended. Yep, here we go. Now let's go. Ooh, I thought he was doing black hole. How? Oh, this is death. So much for second wind, right? I had three done. Second wind didn't work at all that boss fight. Okay, that's a great way to start off the fight. Okay, that's an actual great way to start off the fight. Change Shoes just saved my ass. Thank you, Change Shoes, like they say in the song. I think. Huh? So now I'm gonna be paranoid about that happening for the rest of my fucking life. Didn't get it. Yeah. That works. I thought for sure I was fucked right there. I don't know why second win isn't fucking working, but I'm d All right, let's see if I can get the glitch to work. The workaround. Make that a resounding fuck no. We're going in this with no- Are you serious? How? As I was saying, we're doing this with no quick revive. So I'm probably gonna die. Another one? Here we go. Okay. There's all five. Oh my god, dude. My heart is pounding so fucking hard right now. Oh my god. I haven't done this boss fight in so long. I forgot how hard this was. Especially after just getting done with fucking Mosa Cold War. Oh my god, dude. Okay, but... There is the Mephistopheles boss fight, the hardest boss fight in Zombies history without a shadow of a doubt. Mephistopheles was eliminated in 14 minutes and 28 seconds. Thank you, Andre. Holy fuck. Uh, Meph is T-posing, okay. Well, whatever. Let's go on to the darkest shore. Let's go. Oh God, why do I only have one fucking shield? Oh God. The fuck did I do? Oh no. Oh no. I got a bad feeling about this. Oh guys, I got a bad feeling about this. No! Come on! What the fuck am I stuck on? Fucking hate this. Just fucking love Easter egg steps that are 
punishing for solo players. Good job, Camera Dayton, on this masterpiece of a zombies mode. If you're watching this, thank you so much for creating the worst zombies experience we ever had. You know, I would have had this fucking done by now if your stupid fucking game wasn't so unreliable to where the fucking boss fight glitches all the fucking time. Got past the fucking unfair part on solo. So what happens? The fucking game glitches out and I can't proceed to the third phase. I'm gonna give this one more fucking chance. And this will be my final game of World War II Zombies that I ever fucking play. One last chance I'm giving this fucking easter egg. If you don't like it, fuck off. I don't care. I'm tired of playing this god awful fucking map over and over again. Playing the same unfair fucking easter egg steps over and over again. I'm sick of this fucking game. I'm sick of this fucking map. I'm sick of this fucking easter egg. I'm sick of fucking zombies. I haven't been talking this whole time, but knock on wood, it looks like I'm going to beat this boss fight. I was sweating my ass off. I took one down. Right, I, I'm, I'm going to shut the fuck up for now. I'm not jinxing shit. There it is. Completed. All right. Timer. Get me the fuck out of this goddamn map. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Okay. Okay. You guys do not understand how much I fucking hate this map. Like, if you've been fans of mine for a long time, then you know just how much I hated Tagged with Toten. But now all of that hate that I had geared towards Tagged with Toten has now been aimed at the Darkest Shore. I fucking hate the Darkest Shore. This map is fucking awful. Terrible. One of the worst, no, the worst lot. Well, no, I can't say the worst ever made because Vanguard exists. But if Vanguard didn't exist, which I'm gonna pretend it doesn't, this is the worst zombies map ever made. No fucking way anything beats it. Fuck this map. Okay, let me tell you what I was gonna tell you before the last phase. So, I took one down, and that was in the third phase of the boss fight. But you guys, I looked at my computer and it was out of space, dude. I, I got so fucking nervous. I thought that fucking didn't record. Okay, we're fine. It did record. But as I was saying, I took one down in the third phase of the boss fight, and then one down in the fourth phase of the boss fight, which I will be showing you guys, but I was not talking in the third phase of the bo I wasn't talking at all in the boss fight, because I was sweating my ass off trying to complete it. Because trust me when I say I do not want to play this map 
ever fucking again. But the reason that this took me so long to complete, if you look compared to the other clips I've showed you of me trying to complete the Darkest Shores Easter Egg, is for a couple reasons. One, I had to use like five moistures to get a spawn with a charge. And the pest step took me a little bit. I don't know why I was having so much trouble on the third part where you collect the head. Like that area, the third part of that step. That took me like five minutes easily. I don't know why. But we completed it at 22 hours and 33 minutes on the dot. I couldn't have timed that up better. So for Transit and the Darkest Shore, before I move on to Forsaken, the final map in this video, I will adjust all of the times to my time whenever I completed Transit's Easter Egg and the Darkest Shore's Easter Egg. I will put in these new times over the old times when I just rage quit and just add it onto those times. I don't know why that was so fucking hard for me to explain. Okay. I know why, because I had to play the Darkest Shore for like three days fucking straight trying to complete this fucking easter egg. I don't know why I'm just sitting here and pause. Let's actually move around with my weapon of emptiness. I don't have nothing in my hands. Look at this shit. Okay, there we go. A perkaholic. Good reward. Take no Treyarch. But fuck no. If I, I am not playing this just because I got a fucking perkaholic. <laughs> fuck that. Alright, we're about to go into the last boss fight, the last easter egg in this video. We are about to go into the Forsaken boss fight. I just gotta grab Speed Cola real quick, and we are good to go. I'm definitely over-preparing for this boss fight, but if you look at the clock, it's only been 20 minutes, so this is actually a really good time, considering I have a Pack-a-Punch Gallo, double-packed Chrysalix, and five perks. Oh man, this is like, this is super bittersweet. Hold on. Before I go... Just in case. Oh, I forgot I went down. Let me buy one of those. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, okay, so fuck off. So I went down. I didn't record it on OBS, but I did record it on my PlayStation. So it's going to be lower quality, but I will put in how I went down right here. I did not know that was a thing. And it really caught me off guard when it happened. We should get sub 60, right? Oh my gosh. I can only grab one at a time. Well, that's good to know. I'll probably never do this Easter egg again, even though I really enjoy this map. This Easter egg is not it. Let's just be completely honest. Can I can I jump? Thank you. You know, I would really love a nuke right now. Game, wink, wink. I know I've said this already, but I cannot believe we're actually at the end of this video. This video has been almost a year in the making because I don't have that much free time. And whenever I have free time, and I'm not directing it towards other YouTube videos. That's what I did. Do I have enough? Of course I don't. That's whenever I would focus my time and effort on this video. Hence why it took almost a year to complete. Almost 40 hours of recording, and another six or so of prepping. Then you gotta remember editing the videos and everything like that. It's a grind. It is one hell of a grind. But we are finally here at the end. Let's go. I don't have enough ammo or anything for anything else, so we're just going. Hello, Forsaken. Okay. Yeah, I missed you too, pal. All right, charge that one up, Maxis. Let's take out his shoulders. Have I ever said how much I love this Wonder Weapon? Like, this Wonder Weapon is so fucking cool. Legitimately one of the most unique Wonder Weapons ever. And it's like in a game like Cold War Zombies, where the one thing that they lacked severely was originality. They sure knocked it out of the park with this Wonder Weapon. Hey, yeah, you can keep saying that. Go! Blast his ass. Pause. Pause on that. But blast his ass. Okay. Oh, no. Those orbs are coming after me. Okay. It doesn't damage me. Okay. They patched it. Okay. There used to be a glitch that those orbs would come after you whenever you were on the turret. But it looks like they thankfully patched that. No! I wanted that carpenter. Come on. I just now realized that the Abomination and the Forsaken have the exact same attack. The exact same. How have I never noticed that before? So I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I don't have- oh no, I got ammo. Never mind. I was gonna say I don't have enough points to buy ammo for my Wonder Weapon, and I don't have enough- Ow! Thank god I don't have epilepsy or some shit, Forsaken. Ruthless. Yeah, see, I don't have enough ammo- or ammo. Ow, fuck, I can't explain shit. Leave me alone. It's going away from me. 
Don't you touch me, Mimic. Okay, we're shooting each other right now with our lasers. <laughs> Having a fucking beam struggle out here. Okay, here we go. The last Easter egg step that I'm doing in this video. Again, this is insane. I can't believe we're at the end. I cannot believe it. All we gotta do is just spray his head. Hopefully I have enough ammo. It's It doesn't look like it. But thankfully I have enough points to buy ammo. One last middle finger from Treyarch to me. Thank you, Treyarch. Thank you. Okay. Deploying flamethrower. Let's use the flamethrower. Let's just have fun. Or what am I doing? It's a fucking speed run. No time to have fun! Voice crack, shit. <laughs> oh my god. I am not risking this. What? Okay, hold on. I gotta make sure I don't die, actually. Because this is a possibility. Cutscene? Am I gonna get the cutscene? Okay. Oh God, time. 38 hours, 30 minutes, and 38 seconds. That is the final time that it takes at least me to complete every single soloable Easter egg in Call of Duty Zombies. I just realized that the round counters move that. There we go. I at least got it for the very end. You guys can at least see the round counter in the last five seconds of this video. And Sophia, take us home. She's gone. I said, Sophia, take us home. The Forsaken is secure. I said, I Sophia, take us home. Closing around the it's done. Sophia. There we go. I don't know if I prematurely stopped the timer or not. But we're just going to count it because we got the cutscene. And there's a 0% chance of downing after that little cutscene where Sam flies into the Forsaken. So I'm counting that as the end of the Easter egg. So again, 38 hours, 30 minutes, and 38 seconds. I can't believe it's over. You know, it's kind of fitting how this is the end of the video. And this is also the end of COD Zombies. <laughs> At least until 2024. We are not acknowledging Vanguard's existence. As far as the COD Zombies timeline goes... We got Forsaken, it was a good map. And then Sledgehammer released Vanguard, no zombies. IW is gonna release Modern Warfare 2 this year, no zombies. No COD 2023, 2024, after three long years, we are getting another zombies map. And hopefully the next game isn't as bad as the current one. So there was every Easter egg made by every developer in chronological order. Real quick before I go over the final stats, I just want to say enjoy this Vanguard Easter egg. I decided to just bite the bullet and do the story quest or whatever the hell they're calling it because I know for a fact that if I didn't put this in the video, I would have some smart ass in the comments talking about how this is clickbait because I didn't put the Vanguard Easter egg in. So here it is. Here's the Vanguard main quest, Easter egg quest, story quest, whatever the hell it's called. So here are the times for every Easter egg. I'm not going to go too in depth with them. So if you want to check out all the times, just pause the video now. The three maps that took me the longest to complete were the Fauna Reich, Origins, and Blood of the Dead. To be honest, I'm really surprised how long Origins and Blood both took me to complete. Not only did I use to speedrun both, but I've done both probably around 100 times. So I feel like if I was given another chance to beat both Blood of the Dead and Origins Easter Eggs, I could easily shave 20 to 30 minutes off of both times. As for the Fauna Reich, the gramophone melee step, whatever you call that, that step is the sole reason why this easter egg took the longest amount of time to complete. The three shortest times in this video were on the giant, classified, and outbreak from exo zombies. But if you didn't want to include the giant or classified, then the top three fastest times would consist of outbreak from exo zombies, the beast from beyond, and zombies in spaceland. And finally, the easter egg that I failed the most in this video was of course, if you watched it, you know exactly which one it was. It was the Shadow Throne. 
I failed it four times and then I finally completed it on my fifth attempt. Back when I first played through all the World War II easter eggs like two or three years ago, I beat this easter egg on my first time attempting it on solo. So I have no clue what went wrong here. Like I said during the World War II section of this video, I was worried the most about the Darkest Shore. I wasn't even worried about beating the Shadow Throne. I thought I was going to go in there and have a quick one and done. I thought it was going to be one attempt, beat it the first try, and fly through the rest of World War II, but no. Somehow the Shadow Throne took me the most attempts out of any easter egg in this video. And overall, to complete every single soloable easter egg, it took me 38 hours, 30 minutes, and 38 seconds. This was by far the longest video I have ever made, and this is probably the longest video that you have watched on this platform. So if you enjoyed this video, please do me a massive favor and drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and share this video with your friends, your family, anyone who plays COD Zombies. Even if you didn't like the video and you thought I was extremely annoying or something, at least drop a like for the amount of time and effort that has went into making this video. Like I said a couple hours ago at this point, I started making this video on June 15th, 2021. And at the time I'm recording this, it is June 2nd, 2022. So if nothing else, I think that alone deserves a like. Furthermore, if you watch this entire video, this mammoth of a video, the whole three hours, if you watched it all, give yourself a huge round of applause. I seriously cannot thank you enough if you watched this whole video. Even though this video took me a year to complete from start to finish, I really enjoyed making this. So if you guys want to see another video like this, let me know your ideas down below in the comments. If there's enough people who enjoy, I'll just hire an editor for the next video so this doesn't take a year to complete. So with that being said, if you guys want to check out some of my other videos, they will be on the end screen. Thank you guys so much for watching this video one last time. I really, really appreciate it. And with that being said, this is Joltz completing every single easter egg in COD Zombies history, signing out. Peace!